And there he was. Looking at me. Smiling down upon me. All 32 teeth. And then I, I thought to myself, that's that's when it finally hit me. My conscience told me. I never would have made it yeah. without Ooh. you. Ooh. Shut the f*** up. Oh, you would have lost it all. You literally don't know that song. <laughs> you literally don't know the song. Marcel always wants to be the nigga so in the nose so bad. song? What's the Pause. name of the song? Because he's he, I just what is sat it? down and he got to violate and shut up with your what ugly ass it? purple pimp suit. Ooh. What is it? Hey, what's, what's the name of the song? He said with your ugly ass. I always said with your ugly ass. You know what I'm saying? But when Marcel is in the know, he likes shit on people who don't know, bro. Yeah. What's the name of the song? That's a bad trick. Yeah, he do, do that. the name of the song? I don't give a fuck. I go in here shut up. up. He go, he do that. He be trying to niggas open cheeks. You know what I'm saying? All the time, bro. All the time. All the time. You don't even give people an opportunity to learn because you're too busy on him. Open you don't even ask, though. You don't even ask. You just kind of come in and try to just yeah, but you don't insert give a yourself. You I just start a song, but I'm not paying attention, but I got my slices of cheese and my goddamn Coke energy I pulled out the last one in the fridge. I think that cheese is passionate. I low-key think that there should passionate. be gatekeepers. No cap. I think there should be know, gatekeepers. John. It's passionate. It might be. It needs to be. Or else it's not cool. Not only is it not cool, it's like niggas he will come in. it needs to be gatekeepers? Yeah. Yeah, he said that. That's, that's some hating ass shit. Imagine if a hedge fund manager said like that, there needs to be gatekeepers. Not everybody could have money. It's capitalism. There would be an uproar. There don't need to be no gatekeepers. There needs to be full access to those, and just not not access, full opportunity to access. Yeah, no, the opportunity is there. The oppor- most in, in America there is. Yeah, I agree. The internet is everywhere. Yeah, but no, not no, no, not not, not, not to everywhere. Not yeah. to the same extent it is in America now, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I remember. When I was in Ethiopia. It was ten years ago, so it's probably a lot different now. Only time you catch Wi-Fi, bro, is if you live in a wavy area or you go to a coffee spot. You know what I'm saying? They didn't just have it everywhere. So go to a coffee spot. Exactly. That's what we did a lot. We went to, I forgot what it was called, but it was a coffee spot in like more of the urban areas. Was it called Starbucks? No, but it was oh, like, was a, it was kind of like a rip-off, rip-off of Starbucks. I forgot <laughs> what it was called. I swear to God, it was like a rip-off of Starbucks. I forgot what it was called. You know what else? Uh, I mean, when, I, when I go on the internet, you know what else I learned too? He about to say some hater shit. Go this ahead. nigga Sneeko is broken out. That's tough. So okay. let's get into that off real. Yo, what up, podcast people? Listen, one only legend of one, aka Low. You probably trying to figure out to yourself, yo, why? Especially to my my visual people out there. You trying to figure out why is why why is he dressed like that? Yeah, why? Yeah. Why? why? Well, people out there who watch, you know, the playback video on Valentine's Day, you clearly know I had to, you know, find agents a soulmate. I'm in love, man. Now I just figured out that Sneeko's in town and. He's trying to run away from depression. The fuck you taking people's pillows? You didn't need that. Oh, you don't know, actually. You don't know. You didn't to gatekeep the pillow. Good point. Mm, mm. Look at him. So I'm in town, and what happened? What I do? You're trying to run away from depression. You're trying to run away from your anxiety. Are you You're analyzing me? To, I, I, already, I already know it. Cause, you know, they call me Dr. Love Low. You know, that's what, when I put this suit oh, on, this, this shirt, you know, Dr. Love Low. And what they told me is that psh, you're running. I'm they're running. trying. They're trying Should to fight. Should we intro this. the podcast? I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt your love session, y'all. Yeah, you did do the nody, oh. nody, nody. You did that? No. No, I'm, I'm getting to that point. Now, what I need to know, I need you to ponder and just while I do this intro. Why did you let that black queen run away? Hmm? <laughs> okay, what's you, better, you, you? you better answer that question very clear. Too. I mean, what you want me to do? There's no, think, think about it for a second. Think about it for a second. Anyway, man, shout out to all my podcast people out there. All, all, all. all Audio platforms, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Make sure you rank us a five star. Also, leave in the comment section um, open relationships. I like that. Oh, one this right cam there. is pointing at my back. Yo, John, flip to this cam. What's good with this cam? You gotta switch that. Every time I come here, you add another camera, another angle. Ah! This camera's fine. He's literally looking at it. He knows it's fine. Bro, John, if I lean forward, bro, you're not catching Marcel. No, I see Marcel. He hey, just sees me. And then like the side profile of you. Is this good right now? Yeah, it was, it was good before. <laughs> no, nah, it's better now, though. Okay. I, I would assume so. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just we, made you the podcast better. You don't know intros? Go ahead, man. Since you're so worried about the intros, fumbling. right? Since you're so, in, you're so worried about them, right? Anyway, after you rate us five star, make sure you write uh, open relationships. I like that. You like that? You like that? I still like that. I still think that everyone should have one. Everyone should be in an of open course, relationship. Like, of course you do. Of course you do. I like you. I like you. Uh, you go down fighting. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I like also, shout out to all my YouTube people. <laughs> we, said well. go down. we said I went down. Nobody went down. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Not, not you. Not you. You just pull a tennis racket out of the pillow. What's going on? Yeah, man. You have to be prepared. You never know when you might have to. 
back a nigga? <laughs> Let me know, John. Hit back. Fire back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Return favor. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, or charge it to the game. What? That's going to make sense for about four people, and they're all in the room. Ah, not even for Marcel, actually. Three um, people. Yo, shout out to all my YouTube people as well. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave a like, comment, and when you get done all that, hit the notification bell so you can join. The Nodi Squad? You're so cool. The group? Because you know what it is. You've sat there and referenced it before. The b- b- club? Uh, I don't remember. Nodi gang, 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 oh, gang, yeah, gang, yeah, yeah. gang, gang, gang. We got something for that. I know we do. We got something for All that. All podcast one. Pause. We got something for that. Uh, to my left, my uh, co host, Agent Zero. You got something to say, man, before we yeah, get to the sneaker roast? Roast. Yeah. I thought he That's was why you were in the suit. Love. No, no, no. I mean, the beginning. Right, right, right. right. Brother, brother, brother. Okay, in the okay. beginning now, brother. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to help that soul out there for you, brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm just. Living life, being the best man I could be. You of know course. what I'm saying? Of course. And just trying to show Sneeko, you know what I'm saying? There's really another side to this life. You know what I'm saying? Once you stop watching anime, there's more to life. Uh, of course. Why? Why do you look like why do you look like an offensive lineman? <laughs> Yo, uh John. Any any intros for today? Please don't. Oh man. Nah, man John. I'm just been going through it. Huh? Okay. Damn, John. You been going through it too? Hard, man. I've been going through it. Wow. Brother, this is Valentine's Day. Man, what's, what's up with y'all? Uh, <sighs> hopefully, the calm before the storm. Yeah, man. Been looking for love in all the wrong places. Probably <laughs> not, though. So that's mad relatable, John. Yeah, man. Super. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to be like you. I have a, a black queen. <sighs> call my own. Reliable. Reliable. Loyal. Loyal. Hope, were those were those, were those uh, were those some of those words that he uh, he was using when he like the first the top five things he was looking for? Because I don't remember reliable, <laughs> I don't remember loyal either. I don't remember none of that. <laughs> I don't think that yeah, man, none, none of that shit was out there. Um, I was under pressure. I don't hey know. man, so for those who didn't watch the the first podcast we had with Sneeko, you know what I'm saying? Sneeko then hopped on the pod. Yeah. It's actually one of the most interesting conversations we had a chance to have on the podcast, yeah. man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He came through, we shot some AMP videos. Uh, uh, uh. Of course. Sneeko stopped by, man. Podcast. He was talking a little bit about open relationships, mm. life shit, mm. YouTube shit. All kind of different growth on social media. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, brother. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Yes, brother. Did you that in New York brother. or not? Yeah, that's where I started. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah that's, that's in Brooklyn. My soul yeah, I crying. thought my whole life uh, was a Toronto thing, but really? uh, yeah. So you take everything from New York. I'm trying to pay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> anyway, she broke um, my heart. Sneak, uh, Sneeko uh. just dropped a a, f- a banger. No, 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 wait, wait, before we do that, let's. <laughs> when, when you said the first time, uh, brother Sneeko, you you told us Thanks, man. that we should demand open relationships. That's what you said. I said that word for word. I know you put that in the title. I don't know if that was word for word. I, that doesn't sound like me. Like demand. I don't think. Does it sound like you? Nah. Come on, Sneaker. Okay. It, all right. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just, should. Everybody should have an open relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Demand. That's the right word. Okay. So women too. Everybody should. But women don't want to have open relationships as much as men do. Men. Why do you think yeah. that is? Because men, it's just like a biological feeling to things as you can and literally it comes from a biological need to impregnate many many women oh so you speaking for you Lo, and dean and john for, for all men for every every man he doesn't mean for me that's what we do no, we just want to bust I, on everything he's not speaking for me but i i, I see going he's going you and dean i mean i'll switch you hey hey i don't think that nigga's speaking to me either that strand of chromosome that that nigga's talking about biology just completely just skipped over me what the you don't, you don't feel like I think our melanin is too deep to get. Yeah, that. exactly. That's what. It is. That's, that's the problem. When you yeah. get this deeper melanin, deeper metalins. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, that must be y'all type. Yeah, boy. keep talking. I didn't let that know because yeah, I didn't, some I'm girls okay. see that title was just like that's how you feel. Yeah. I said, not personally, not how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I, I agree with some points. What do you I agree don't agree with, with none of huh? it. Actually. What, wait, what, what points do you agree with? Huh? What points do you agree with? That, that men demand things, and then after that, it got real <laughs> great. <Yeah. laughs> so yeah, you was you was telling us the the luxury, the life, how you were living in this open relationship, and you was like, man, my, we we both understand. That's understanding between me and the girl I'm in a relationship right yeah. now, man. Here we are, man. Yeah, here we are. Valentine's well, Day, man. What no, you doing? Hard, though. What you doing Valentine's Day? Open relationship. What, Valentine's you, what you doing? What are you doing on Valentine's Day with your girl? It's nothing. She's. I can't see her. She's in Europe, and I'm here. You can't I saw you had a picture. You had a picture. He posted something like he was on a beach with somebody with some thick red bone. What? Who? Who did that? Huh? Who did that? You snitching on me? 
Huh? On the podcast? Wait, what? Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, cut that out, Kayla. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> was it private? Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. I have no idea what you're talking okay, about. Okay, Kayla, just cut that out. Kayla, that was a different Sneeko. Oh, the difference, Nico. So it's not. You don't need to cut it, it out. Okay. I didn't know if this was like on a private story. What does it matter? He's in an open relationship. So what does it matter? I'm not in a relationship anymore. Apparently. Oh. Yeah, so. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah shit's oh. done. So dog, what happened? Walk us through it. What happened? The main part is that you we can't just see each other. I haven't seen her in almost like five six months. That, that gotta be hard. That's not yeah. really an open relationship. That's kind of close. Yeah, it's the book's over. So that was the main thing. The main thing is distance because y'all yeah. overseas. And there's no way to travel. I, I would travel to see. I did in in September. I went to London all the way to see her. I uh, thought I thought that's where the but, open relationship came into play. Like y'all yeah, just yeah, having yeah. sex with other people. That's well, I thought that filled the void. Uh, yeah, to fill the gap while the, yeah while she was gone. And she so she said that everyone's tied to me in the comments. Everyone's like Cheeto this like even that. Uh, D'Angelo you know? Wallace dude just commented. He said uh, he's for the streets. <laughs> like, hey, uh, so what's that process like? Be, she said in the video. She said that. We talked about it. She just didn't like the way I did it. What? A, so that we did, talked about having an open relationship, but the way I went about it, she didn't like. What? Do you, what does she mean? Only that's some woman shit. Huh? You only work overseas. Like you have an relationship, open relationship with a girl that you can see. I every probably day. would if I saw her every day. I probably wouldn't feel the need to fill the void. But like you said, that. we demanded though. Maybe. Yeah. So like, what if she demanded too? Like she had a little dick in her mouth when she pulled up on you. Okay. And then, but remember last time he was he didn't want to think about hey, that. Yeah, yeah, man. You got you got to look at both Isn't sides. So well, I don't, you got to look at you got to look at both sides. You got to look at both sides. Because that's the side. It's all good and all. You the bitch exactly. coming there with a little bit of a little bit of mayonnaise on but her chin. I don't, I don't think Wendell's hey, <laughs> Chill out, bro. No, he's like, he's you sex though. No, this is still his girl. Women just don't want to have open relationships. What do you mean? This is girl. She was. It was her. It was her man. And these niggas out. Yes, said, what does it matter? No, I'm just saying for the other people out here that's right? agreeing, agreeing, you got to think of both sides. Like, it's all cool and all the fun lot, but then when you think about I'm her- I'm not I'm disagreeing with you. I'm just saying you're you're literally trying your hardest to spam adjectives to describe the image. You're like, mayonnaise, mayonnaise is a, on is her sauce. This nigga that was, was very descriptive. On the <laughs> you saw it, you? I had, I'm image, I'm visual learner. I had to that's put that That's what I'm telling you to stop doing, bro, because yeah. that's still his ex. Huh? What is I'm matter? not talking about his ex. I'm just talking hypothetical. Bro, if you break up with your girl and people around you are giving you visual representations of other men, I, what I is wrong hey, with you? I wasn't that talking was about the whole ex. premise of their relationship. It was open. No, but she, the whole she wasn't of going around. Was. Bro, she wasn't around describing in I just detail. I said hypothetically speaking for anybody that wants an open relationship, you gotta think about both sides. So you can do your own thing, but if she's doing her own thing, it's just like dang. That's like, what's going on. That's what's going on. No one's debating open relationships right now. I'm talking no, no, about no, the no. What we're talking about painting. is you have to accept that. Like her breasts like meat. And she's what vegan. You, what? Why does it smell like meat? Hey, John, bro. <laughs> like, we, you you convert it. You, when you see her after yeah. like three months, you kiss her. Yeah, you That's just pay to get her hair done and you see it messed up. Like, what happened? You don't run. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'll be thinking about that stuff. I'm like, damn, I can't do that. That's what I'm saying, too. I won't be able to do that. I mean, I can do it one way, but you can't have you can't have it all your Like, way. when you FaceTime her and there's like a nigga ball shorts in the background. Okay. You're like, who's, oh, who's my God. Right. Oh, damn. We saw two niggas Bro, in the background. Bro, that's cap. Y'all had never fucked with a girl and you didn't want you did not want her talking to nobody, but you were talking to other people at the, the same time. Is, that's, no, that's actually, fantasy. no, that's never happened. No, that's a fantasy. That never lasts. No. They just I, say that. never happened to me. No. To make you feel better. Because they really told you I'm, what I'm also not that possessive with that. Like, she's a guy. Like, she's she's in Europe for five months. Like, she fucks a guy. Some like, well, European dude he's with accepted. the... He's accepting. He's the one who said... Yeah. He's, he's the one who said... Yeah, eat no, that man's ass. Nico, what's up with yeah, you? Yeah, ball, ball swallowing and ass licking. A ball-headed man. You yeah. just having sex with him. Yeah. What, what's up with... But what if you don't know about it? Then it doesn't. It didn't really happen. So that's so the only thing. It's like Schrodinger's dick. Like what it didn't you know really about it. Okay, look, 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 Sneeko, Um, what was that process like? If you somebody did, she, did you? W- was it in the rules that you had to tell her? And if she did something, See, she we didn't had really to tell specify you? the rules like that. Oh, it, it wasn't. We didn't make write a contract and have all the details. It was just like, all right, you know what I mean? Like I'm going away for a while. Like what happens happens. Oh, man. that's what we said. Okay. Right. Well, she had a diary. That I almost know. sounds like a breakup, though. Or like a break, yeah, I'm yeah, like a break. break. Yeah, one of those two, I guess. Like if I'm what talking you mean, to somebody, because I, I probably if we we're together in the same country, I would try to get back with her. But Sneo, this is how we got in this situation to begin with. Like it was a lack of communication, so you can't just say I guess. So it's only like is that. Is my, bad, because, no, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Girls might be open to the idea of an open relationship, but in practice, they don't really people. They don't, people get jealous. They, yeah. they don't want to hear everything. It always happens. 
It may start I, off, I agree. Happen. And then, I, I, I don't think you I can detail everything. In the everything. context of a relationship, I'm not sure. If I'm dating a girl, I don't give a f- who else she's talking to. Huh? As long as I'm not in a relationship with her, I'm just dating oh, her. Oh, I forgot you say dating. Yeah. dating yeah. So yeah. if I'm just dating her, I don't give a f- who else she's talking to. As long as she's not texting the person in front of me, if I pull up to her spot, I don't see like don't his yeah, I don't want to know about that dating. side of her life. Yeah. I get that. So I'm saying in the context of a relationship, though, I still can't imagine you want the visual. Like, you don't even want to see. You don't even want to get the guy's IG that she's fucking when you're not there. Yeah, I'm going to be I wouldn't want that. that if I was in an open relationship. There's yeah. just no way. I get that. But what, the point I'm making, the point John making, is that when you accept that reality, you also need to understand. Man, that's going to be happening. That's, that's what's going to happen. It is going to be happening. But you, it could you not be or could be. It's, it's, true. Right. it's, 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 it's like way more Rudy descriptive goes. and visual about it than I would ever be. I'm oh, not yeah, gonna try I, to. I do. I, I'm a visual, and I just like if I get to even <laughs> sight of knowing. Cause I'm just thinking like girls have more time to do what they want to do than guys. So they want to do it, and they have more options. Yeah, they have more options. Like they can just anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we could just anything, but they can just anything too. So it's just like crazy. <laughs> like just knowing about it, or seeing like some size 14 shoes. Uh, on a, a positive foot. note, though, you know what I'm saying? You did make a great video out of that whole um, oh, breakup. I don't know what to call it, really. Um, we're, what were you surprised about with, like, the reaction after that video? <laughs> Mad people on subscribe, bro. <laughs> he looks, he looks, he looks sick. sick. Yeah. Don't stop thinking about it. That's what it hurts more. I try to think about it. I just try to accept it. Because my niggas would do that to me. And I ask them a question. They give me the hard truth. And I just really want the truth. Like, dang, bro. She ain't text me back. What she doing? He'll call me and say, yeah, she get her back broken, but don't cry about it. Move on. And I'd be like, damn. I said, it's the truth. Like, it's the it truth. It is the truth, bro. That's what we're here for. You, you really heard truth. that on the phone? Yeah, my <laughs> niggas tell me that all the time. They always tell me the hard truth. They don't just tell me, bro, she probably just cooking, her phone died, and she's walking her dog. She, you tripping. No. They tell me the hard truth, so it makes you more hard body. Really hard truth. Yeah. You got to you know so the hard truth. She's, sometimes, she's probably getting dicked down by a nigga overseas right now. Hey. Down. In a boat. What? What's up with you? But no, we're the not talking about the truth. That's what we talking about. The hard we're not, truth. We're not talking about her. And I said we're just talking about in the in the aspect of open relationships. When you accept that, you accept anything that comes with it. Cause it could be that one guy that changed her life. And niggas are manipulative when you got that. When you got that power. That dick got power. It's like a superpower. And then on the twenty first of December, <laughs> you're already, John like, goes another you're step. That overrating dick go. powers. No, like on the twenty first. No, it's not. No, it's not. On the twenty first, no, that that dick could change somebody. It could really, it could really change somebody. And then, what if they have everything you have, and a dick is slightly better? It just throws it off. I can't. See. What? John just throws truth. another loaf. <laughs> What's going on? What's but no, I think all these. I think, I think we. I think I'm confused. Maybe, maybe the dick power is real. It happen to you too, low. It could be another loaf. Or a name. His name is High. Same <laughs> white, that. same body style. You probably get a cut every week, so it's a little crispier. You got Cartier shades on. Slightly better play. suit. Slightly better you know. suit. He got it tailored. You know what I'm saying? He wears socks. He likes to moisturize. <laughs> and he hit it a little bit harder. And he, and he likes domination. And yeah, he, a, stop being so specific. Whoa, yeah, here's, 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 here's the difference. Here's the difference. Me, and my, girl, always, me and my girl are in an open relationship. Huh? So the odds that her even entertaining that nigga is so it's unlikely. Say, what if you do something messed up, man? You, Oh, I'm, I'm not. At that point, then I mean, that's that's on me. You gonna but charge it to the game? That's on me right there. Yeah, yeah that's, you that's gotta just charge that to the game. Like, when you see her happy with another but, girl like you, but if this nigga is open to open relationships, and he's like, yeah, yeah. you like, she's like, um, I know it's been some time, but this is Marquise. Marquise, meet Marcel. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Man. So, Sneeko, let's let's talk about when that happened. That fateful day, man. Ugh. Walk us through the pit in your stomach, man. What 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 happened when you <laughs> broke up with her? Or she broke up with you. Wait, who broke up with who? It was like a slow process, you know, because we had already oh. been talking less and less. We went from like calling every day. Like to erosion. Like, oh, like what? Erosion. What is that? That's when, yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I know what that is. Yeah. Slow yeah. process, less and less communication. And then like, yeah. F- no, nah, I don't think she saw it. Oh, for real? I don't think so. She didn't bring it up. She probably, she probably still it. saw that. Probably <laughs> I think <laughs> maybe after, maybe it. after the, that call or after the video we did, but I don't think she saw it. So how did she know that y'all were you were exercising your open relationship? Uh, someone snitched on me. Oh, on Twitter? Nah, like oh. w- w- someone like in personal life snitched on me. Who was that? My roommate. My f- roommate snitched on me, man. Wow. Yeah. They be the oh, so one they got nothing to do with us. Your roommate called her. Yeah. And told her that you and somebody at your house. Yeah. Y'all oh, that, yo, that's. A, uh, yeah. I mean, so serious. That's a. 
ass nigga right there. You and your roommate not cool? I mean, he's like, sometimes that's the only dude I see for like a couple days. If I'm in I mean, we share a bathroom, you know? Beat that nigga ass in the bathroom, man. <laughs> what are we talking about? And then man? we go in like the long same shower, toilet. leave him cold water. I've done that. Yeah. Yeah, I do that. That's, that's pain that's for a, That's pain right there. That's Take a, a ass nigga, nigga, no cap. Yeah. I'm not even saying this because though. You know why? You told- they, they've been friends for a while. They knew each other for like oh. years. Like they considered each other like siblings, even though they're not. So they're they just, knew each other before you yeah, children. Yeah. Oh, okay. Still a big ass nigga though. It looks like I'm. Yeah, he he didn't he didn't, he didn't want to talk about it either when I I brought it up. Uh, oh, he wanted to shoot this. Did you have like a French accent? Oh, too? Yeah. Hey, 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 you hey, 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 I just yeah. I didn't expect that. I don't think I didn't think another man would ever do that. Yeah, yeah I, that's like that's like he has feelings for her or something. Apparently, See, nah, I'm playing. But oh. maybe oh, that's oh, so it. Yeah, like, that that it makes sense goes. now. He was just waiting for you to. Nah, it made me think about it. Like, is he straight? Yeah, he do. Because I have female friends. I don't give. If you first of all, I have a lot of questions because if if you knew that you live with him and they were close and you were bringing girls home. Why wouldn't you think that'd be a problem that would eventually happen? And two, why would it even matter if she knew that you were doing that? Because I started like, it's my apartment now. You know, I'm paying the rent. I feel like I could do what I want in my apartment. That's how, that's how I felt. Yeah, I feel like that in this house too. You know? If that's my no place, answer to the question though. Because if you, if you, again, y'all, if you thought from your perspective, if you thought that y'all were in an open relationship and he told, he still, I, she still shouldn't tell, but why would that matter? You know to what she said end? after that happened? She's like, she didn't even really care that it happened. It's just that she didn't want to hear about it. And she heard about it. That's the worst. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's the problem with open relationship. That's why I call it cheating when it's really not cheating. Is like, you accept it that people are, are, monog- are polygamous and do what they want. Yeah. But you just, you don't really hear about it. You keep it separate. You don't think about the dicks in her mouth yeah. or the balls or whatever, all that. You just keep it separate. <laughs> spit. But this, this guy, is, this guy I, just had a smile on his face a man, second. It is sad. I'll be thinking about my life. You just try not to think I about it. I thought I really liked her. She getting f- I'm like, damn. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be that room. You'd be sitting in your room. Your stomach be hurting. You turn the lights off. You'd be sitting there. You really don't want to move. I, you know you know the feeling. But doesn't that mean that she likes you? If she's lying about it, she's keeping it secret. She's trying not to hurt you. And no, she's no, keeping it private. No, no. Don't that mean that she really no, likes that you? That means she's a sneaky bitch. It's warped reality. She's a sneaky bitch. Right? <laughs> yeah, sneak a little bit. That's reality. how you know if you really like a girl. If you you got to cheat on her and see if you feel bad. And then. What? What? Sneak on, stop. <laughs> That's what stop. got you into trouble, man. Yeah, stop, stop, stop. That's what got you into trouble, man. You said you had to sneak on your girl to see if you really love no, her. No, like, that was a funny bit. Someone had that bit. Who was it? Damn, might have been like Cat Williams or someone. He said, just, "That's how you know you love your girl, man. If yeah. you cheat on her, you feel bad." It might have been Patrice O'Neill. I forgot who. It, it sounded like a Patrice O'Neill. O'Neil. Yeah, I think that was Future. No, no, uh, Future definitely don't care. Yeah. Future doesn't do comedy, yeah. man. <laughs> he don't. He, he legit don't care. <laughs> he legit don't care. So, Sneaker, what did you learn out of this? That's that's what we're really here for. We're trying to make sure What's next time. I learned that uh, maybe I should keep more things in my personal life private. For sure. Mm. Um, mm. But it's just so much fun to talk about. I got to be that's honest. That's true, it's man. Fun. I've been trying to find that balance, too, because it's like you could just talk about them. And, like, you have a YouTube channels and like, you have plenty of platforms on Twitter or wherever else that you could post. So it's like, but then you can't do it, though. You, know you can't. Yeah, you just got to balance it, out, it. You can't reveal too much. You got to be open enough and be smart about it and know how people are going to react. No, nah, it's everything, man. I remember seeing there was a relationship, uh, like a, it was a YouTube couple. The, the One of them was on YouTube. The other one was just like the girlfriend, whatever. But like she was in plenty of dudes videos, right? Yeah. And I remember when they broke up, I was like, man, that's tough. And when you go in the comments, it was just people just shit on the girl. And she didn't <laughs> do nothing wrong. And it sounds like they had an amicable split from what I could find can see but regardless it was like there was just people on the internet that was like man fuck her she's ugly anyway type shit. and imagine being a person that wasn't like a youtuber or nothing you were just going out with a guy who did youtube and then hearing all this that shit about you so i saw that so many times now yeah. that i'm like i can't reasonably put that part of my private life out in public the even though like, they're all siding with her though they're commenting on her post like Damn, yeah i can, I can imagine Sneeko didn't deserve you like you're a queen and it has like a million likes i could imagine she she's a queen black yeah. queen Right? She, yeah. Do you think she right. feels bad for you? Right. Right. So, yeah. Yes. In that, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Do you think she feel bad for you, like in in terms of like the reaction that you're getting? Because <laughs> nah, I don't think I don't think so. She don't give a I fuck. think we <laughs> both don't care enough about like comments to to really invest. Like that's good. Yeah, I I really don't care. I know okay. it's a good video, so it's like that. That doesn't bother me. Yeah. Was she? Do you think she was entertained by the video? Yeah, she said it was funny. Oh, she okay. liked it. Yeah. All right. Oh, so you still communicate? Yeah. 
I noticed today. though in the video, um, you know, today, yeah, how long? Uh, pretty short. It was like a just like I'm gonna text you to give you a notification on your phone type text. Okay, yeah, I like those. Yeah, yeah I noticed you it's skipped toxic. a question in that video though, uh, Sneeko. Wait, what in the video what that I you said? posted? You skipped a question. I did, yeah, it was asked to you many a times. And I are mean, we gonna, or, how, per, how personal are we get in on this podcast? <laughs> I said that you can go to the Patreon and check it out. Like, if you really wanted to hear that, you can reveal all that information, anything you want to find. That type of information you got to pay me for. You, okay. you got to, yeah. yeah. Okay. What was the question? Let me get that $4, uh, $4 were, a month. What was the question? They were all asking this girl how big his dick is. Oh. I said, go to the Patreon. You can find out. You'll see. That was a great Patreon plug. You'll see. Okay. Uh, yeah. You pulled it out? You won't see. You'll see. You'll visualize. I was saying, it's only fans at that point. I'm not going to lie to you. It surprised me that she did that. And then he was like, yeah, that she said it and. It surprised me that she thought of it. She was like, yo, this needs to be Patreon yeah. content. I was like, oh, sh-. Yeah, because like, at the same time, like, she knows that it's cool because she knows it's entertainment. Yeah. When we're doing that call, she's very aware of that. That's dope, though. Yeah. That's That sounds like good chemistry. Yeah. Sounds like you missed out it was, on something. It was good chemistry. <laughs> sounds, sounds like you missed out on something <laughs> perfect, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. You know you dead ass really crying, too. That's the f- part, too. Yeah. And you down. <laughs> you, why are you fighting oh, so much? I don't have any feelings, man. Fuck you. No. I don't cry. Mm-hmm. Men don't cry. Your face is getting red. I ain't gonna lie to me. Your yeah. face is getting red. Face is getting red. That's Asian you're getting glow. teary. I'm drunk. What do you mean? You're getting teary eyed. Nah, teary. Uh, you going? Oh, he's watery. Sneak, see what I mean? Nah, that's not me. This boy red. Emotionless. <laughs> Sneeko. We can. I mean, so serious, Sneeko. You been like Playboy, Cardi, album Oh, cover. Caleb, we went to Sneeko, you good? I'm good, bro. I don't. Yeah, I don't feel anything. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This, it was a real relationship that you're no, joking I'm saying, about, man. No, he's crying for real, bro. Nah, nobody's good. crying. Nobody, you good? Yo, you good? I'm, I'm great. Right. I'm perfect, bro. Right, I don't know good. what you mean. Oh, he turned red. I'm great. <laughs> I'm perfect. <laughs> you. So, how long was this relationship? Uh, <laughs> man. <laughs> man, so Sneeko, um, you, I don't think I think that was too serious a relationship for it, the end of it being like, yo, get your guy friends. We're gonna go out and go, you know. Thing walking like I don't think I don't you don't come across that type of person anyway to go try to just walk like, around just, like drown in pain and, and do you do that I feel like you, you kind of do that I kind of just asked Nico the question he just said this John no Gruden. I do that I do that hmm. try yeah. to ping pong it to I'll me do you say you do that John huh do you, you do, do that, that shit? drown my pain yeah yeah no what about you, you, you do that? I feel like you don't need to ask me that. I don't do that yeah, yeah I'm just drowning myself in yeah, work. So, one. really, it's my philosophy like on open relationships that's all based on like really personal stuff and like nobody else can relate to that. I mean, uh, I, could, I could relate, I could to, relate to open relationships, but I just couldn't go through it because I'm just, I'm just, no, nah, but that's different because you date girls in your city though. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, I, understand, somebody, uh, yeah, I understand that part when she's overseas. I get that part. But I wouldn't. So, so, do you think, do you think an open relationship would be feasible in the context of like you guys live nearby each other? <sighs> I'd like to have the option. I want to have the freedom too. Mm. Nah, bro. Yeah. Atlanta too small. You have an open relationship with Atlanta, somebody you know. You end up having to hear the story about, bro, it was fire. I put this one girl at the spot, bro. She had a mole on her cheek. She, she had his new hair. She just got nah. her nigga just bought that shit, right? Not mole on the cheek. Like only you would think of something that descriptive, man. Yeah, man. It'd be like that. Does mole she on the cheek. Mole on the cheek. She just nah, had hey, these new bands I'm on. I'm just asking. Why would no. you ask him that question? He said no. Think so cool. his name is it doesn't matter what his answer he was. The no, question was why cool. you'd ask him the question. He said no, it's cool. You just guys. asked him if his girl had a ball on her cheek, dog. What it's the f- cool, dog? I didn't even know. Um, hey, bro, if you were, I know who you were getting the brass suckers out of f- after the pod, man. I'm all for it. I didn't, I didn't know who um, your girl was on Beat black. Suit off of her. <laughs> 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 yeah, I didn't know your girl was black though. No cap. I, I, I thought I don't know why I thought she was like Italian or something. What was her like background? That. Uh, she's half Senegalese, half Ivorian. Man, African women are like that's a different breed. No cap. Yeah, she looks like a classic Senegalese, like tall ass, tall skinny lady. How, How tall is she? Like f- not five ten, but oh wow, wow. That's, that's all for a woman. Man, tall enough to be like a volleyball player, yeah, yeah. or like a model, or or a basketball player, or yeah. sometimes we wouldn't even like fuck. We would just fight each guard. other. You do what? We would just fight. You know, we just post up. Play basketball. Oh, her? Yeah, she played defense. Nah, I bet she has a mean drop step. She played defense? Yeah, like she yeah, dropped she Sneeko. Oh, <laughs> no. my God. No, no. Hey, he's actually going. Bro, it's I not like a fake I'm sorry, bro. I'm, I'm so sorry. Right well, he just he's called across to someone who doesn't give a f. I don't he give a f. He don't 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 give a f. He don
yeah, yeah, that's just the exterior, man. Yep. If you, if you there's, no there's no interior. There's no interior. There's no interior. Look, he has to say that he's Sneeko. Yeah. Cold hearted. <laughs> He's a human being. He's a nigga who be asking fat niggas in the subway, like, yo, why are you so fat, huh? <laughs> why are you so fat, huh? What's up so with what, you? So you trying to yeah, take that up, shit out of him or something? No, I'm, not, I'm making sure. <laughs> if you can, you know, you can dish it, you can dish it, you can take it, right? You can oh, take it, right? Yeah, I can take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. So back to your girl, right? I mean, your ex. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga right here. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, what, what is the next step for you, Sneeko? I don't know. I have no idea. Is she, is she coming back to the States? She doesn't. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like America. Not for oh, for real? No. I wonder why she hated. it. Oh, I'm, it's, it's probably because the yeah. niggas be thinking that open relationships are feasible. So that's. I think the French do that more than anybody else. That's like oh, a European real? thing. Yeah, for sure. I open bet it is. Yeah. Yeah. So anything, French people cheat more than anyone else. Anything new coming up? You got anything <laughs> like? True? Just moving on. You getting your he life. He just better? said that. You know, Valentine's Day Sunday. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying. You can maybe you like spend you, spend uh, you smell. You can spend the block back around and try again. You know, do you even want to do Valentine's Day? No cap. Be serious now. There's no. always a girl who wants to do Valentine's Day. I'm talking about you. Do you, you want to do Valentine's? Nobody wants. No guy wants to do. That's a women's holiday. No, I mean if you if you really enjoy sure. you know being around your woman, we ain't make her shit. happy. <laughs> we ain't getting. It. You're Damn excited thing. for Valentine's Day? What you, what you got planned for your girl? I I, I can't say because it's, it's a surprise. So oh, okay. What you get though? What you think? What you think she gonna do for you? I have, I think I have a, a hint. You got an idea? You know when you go on somebody else's phone and like the ads, like when you start searching shit up, the ads will start popping up yeah. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think I know what you're going to get me because of what, that. What if she thought about getting all that stuff and it changed her mind and said, I'm just going to do something simple. Just give him some. Oh, yeah. uh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do something yeah, simple. I'm going to up up the domination tonight. <laughs> have you got that as a present? You got see as a present before? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's always Valentine's Day present. What else do niggas get? That's. Yeah. That's not a present. That's just a, like not, a it's not a present. Does that count yeah. as prostitution? Slick. Oh, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. Girls will be <laughs> asking for stuff. Like, that is prostitution. Yeah, it is. They say, if you fucking unless you pay my rent, so I'm paying you $1,200, so that's prostitution. Uh, or it's not wrong. I got to eat before we... I get that, but... That's like, prostitution, ain't it? Yeah. 12, you pay for is a lot. You're fucking for food. You're fucking for food. So that's food, in, 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 in turns to currency, which is money, which is for a trade or bartering. So you're bartering <laughs> your <laughs> lips for a burger. So you know what I'm saying? So you're trading. So that's prostitution. Wait, I think I think most women don't want to. That's an arrestable. You would like that? That arrestable? Prostitution even, is that illegal? It is, but it's a so mis- she do be dirty. A, it's a misdemeanor. Though. She do you dirty with a misdemeanor. You gonna, you gonna tell her yourself? File a complaint. Uh, you gonna tell her yourself? <laughs> no, I didn't do it though. She was soliciting. It's still, it's, no, it's still prostitution. She was soliciting. She was soliciting. Yeah. Both when when people get arrested, it can be the John and the prostitute who gets arrested. Why would I go to jail? He just used you as a noun. I was being a good Samaritan. <laughs> no, you're not. You you were. I was all, what? You you were participating in the prostitution. No, what I was doing was I wanted to find love, and she wanted to eat and give me that in exchange, and I wasn't going for it. That sounds no. like a sugar daddy, sugar baby relationship. Aren't most relationships kind of based like that, though? No. Nah. Even even not, a little bit. I won't say most, but I think a, a good portion is based off of that. Yes. If you. Look at the broad scheme of things. Like most male, male female relationships, like the man's providing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. I think I think there's a huge portion. Just, I wouldn't say most, but I think a huge portion is like that. Yep. Really decorated prostitution. Yeah, probably dressed up, all nice and fancy, dapper Dan. Dapper Dan, man. What do you think about it? Because on Valentine's Day, what, what are you really gonna get? Or, or like you got to pay for everything. I ain't gonna lie. You're expected I, to I, give a gift. I think what I'm going to get is actually something that I enjoy, I truly want. Yeah, I truly want it. But it's like for all the other men out there, what do you think they're really gonna get? Oh, not because most shit. most of the Valentine's Day I've had with other women has simply been them just giving me. That's been most of it. That's so sad. That's so sad because Very pussy sad. is a two way thing. Like I've got you give me pussy, but I have to use my dick, and you get a pleasure too. So I'm working off of your present. Crazy, because if a nigga just said the end of the night, he's like, I'll, I'll decide till tomorrow. I'm kind of tired. I could should be upset. I'd rather get head because at least that's a one way. This is a one gift. It's a one way gift. Plus, we both got to work. You should get you should get a gift that like she has to work for, like a vacuum. You know, what I'm saying? just just get her a state of the art <laughs> yeah. vacuum, one hundred fifty dollars at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, for or, her, or a tool kit. Yeah, I need an oil change. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my radiator is leaking. <laughs> Groceries, just get her a bunch of frozen food. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just do the yeah. yeah, you see that leak in the room? <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. 
Here's a wrench and a ladder. <laughs> but was that was that me and you who was talking about that? Where like, <laughs> like, like holidays can just be sexist for no reason. Yeah, like, yeah. men holidays are just legit. Like. I'm gonna give you a lawnmower to go cut the grass today. A, a bunch I'm of ties, a, a blue I'm a navy and black tie. I'm gonna get you a grill so you can cook food for us. Cologne, we'll see dad presents. Yeah, never. I'm gonna give you a hammer to fix the wall. I like, did get a Valentine's Day present last year. Oh Fuck yeah, it. this college girl gave me a, a bag of Adderall wrapped in like this really cute heart bag. Adderall. Yeah, it was presented really nicely. <laughs> I still remember, and the Adderall lasted me a long that, time. That, <laughs> can you? Can we say that? That, that was my it was, it was a prescription Yeah prescription. Yeah I am prescribed Yeah Okay, okay yeah. So she gave you Your prescription Yeah she was all. She was so a she pharmacist did, yeah. She oh, didn't yeah, got yeah. to a part Oh <laughs> let's, 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 so she she It was at CVS It was Okay Okay She just did your favor She just did the handoff yeah. Right 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 Yeah of course yeah, Happy get, Valentine's Day What else you get on that You get Cuff links uh, Church shoes uh, <laughs> Boxer briefs Um Man, just get the worst gifts imaginable, bro. At least get something cool, like maybe like a Timber Peter bed. Maybe something that can help me out. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. The bed. Isn't it crazy that women can just like a get away with that? Women can just get away with that, like just routinely. You know what that just means? Mediocre that, gifts. This is, this is women being told over and over again by society that they're more valuable in a relationship. That's basically what they're being told their whole lives. Because they could, you could just pull up to a date and you could say things like, well, I'm supposed to pay. I, I don't know how, I don't even with him yet. Well, you don't know. You neither so someone has to pay you don't just pull up and eat for free right or do nothing for free but it, that's common you know what i'm saying like oh no i need a guy who's gonna pay for uh, 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 uh. and it's like that's that's just normal that's normal behavior that's why it doesn't make sense that a lot of feminists don't want women to be completely not treated like objects because that's how they're treated in relationships like it's something you have to gain like it's like a prize you have to win fair true yeah so to act like you don't need to shave your armpits and like it look presentable is is weird and i've been with a lot of girls who like who don't even try to do basic hygiene like they they aggressively don't shave their pits because they don't feel like they need to be presented I'm, no, 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 I'm, I'm not with these girls i know them i know them let's, hey, let's don't leave the room let's Girl. Let's be clear. You know what I'm talking hey, about. Hey, Let's hey, just be clear you know about something hey, real hey, quick. Hey, sneak up, sneak this up. is not what I was doing an open relationship for. <laughs> you ruined your relationship for <laughs> for a flip stop. What the hell? He was going out with gargoyles for no yeah. reason, and he was, he was smashing up. All right, but actually, you know, no, but that the only thing about the hair is that it sneak like go over the, the hair allows for like a retention of odor. That makes sense. Yeah. So when women shave, there's just like infinitely less odor. You know what I'm saying? So, so she if was you're musty? so if you're giving her head, the, the, it's that's just. So oh, anyway, man. that's it's, yeah. It really just well, is a hygiene underarm though. You ain't talking about these like they're just here. He's talking about the bush too. It's a dual combo. She don't shave I get that. that, but I'm just saying like even if before we get to that, like why <laughs> she had hair? armpit hair, bro? She, so she can't wear a sundress. That was, that's, that was actually it's funny. The girl that I got snitched on for. Was like the hairiest, like the ugliest girl. What are you doing? The stinkiest. <laughs> most, like, you, I'm not giving you logic. That's the one I got I'm not off feeling. for. Like what? Like, I ain't gonna lie. So, like, so this what girls sneaky. we talk about. This yeah. what girls we talk I about. Wash. I had to wash my bed sheets. Like I took a shower. She after. was shedding. She like <laughs> she was shedding. No, she, it was. She like, wasn't. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. One time, I, I I was with a girl where I could smell her before I even went down. I was like, yo. Did I you still go down though? Did you still No, go? nigga, that's a scut. Yo, yo, I yo. Did. Whoa! I did, man. <laughs> Come on, Lo. Let's I go. Did. Start the car. <laughs> Start it. No. And that's that's what that was the one I got caught for. It was a girl I was fucking. It was so I literally like I I had to shower after. Like the smell was still on my upper lip. Like Bro. What have you left with a mustache? <laughs> Is it got a little stuff? You got a little, little, a little bushy. Yeah, that little is. Why, why is that the one that that gets you caught? That's it, that's, that's awful, up, man. That's that make it look Nigga, even why worse. Why did you go down? When you saw it, did you like spread it apart? Yeah, when you smell it, huh? Smell. If you, so can, the, if you so, can smell it from long range, man, it's a wrap. Man. It's done. You know what? She was like one of those really woke people, and she was going all night about how like men and women are equal. Blah blah blah. She was woke. Yeah, she, she was. Be she, she, she was. A, she, smelled like she was that. a they them. She was a they them. You know, so the smell she wake you up. She was a they them. She was a who? A they? A they of who? A they them. Bio. Oh, those are pronouns she used. Yeah, yeah. She Not she they, they. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what she used. So I'm like, all right, I, I want to prove how woke I am because she was going about like, oh, guys, guys never give me head. Like I give head all the time. Like, <laughs> I wonder <"All> right. why. <laughs> <laughs> there, there go to the answer. <laughs> it ain't rocket science. <laughs> you smell why they'll give her head. 
I told her afterwards. I told her like when you, she left. You gotta like, hit one of these. Like a. You told her. I said your coochie smell funky. Like <laughs> it's funky. She's like, I was sweat, and you can't ever what, talk to her again. What'd you say? I was a little sweaty, like. No, no, no. no. not a little, no. a lot, and they just stood there too, because there's no way you no. just sweat one time or a little bit. It, it was it, horrible. It was. Why did you keep going? She had a boosty fade down there. I didn't. I didn't stay there. She had I didn't a boosty fade. She had a boosty fade down. It was like curly. <laughs> it was <laughs> nappy. It was like <laughs> thick. Like, oh man, Stinko, you um, went down on that, bro. You a wild oh, nigga. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, that's the same. You, yeah, you, like, gotta, you gotta raise your standards. You had to have been horny. <laughs> that was a dark time. I ain't seen my girl in Mad Long. I was like, I'm beating that, my that, dick. That makes up. Oh, man. I'm beating my dick I'm, that I'm, night. Yeah, I'm beating you know it. With the left hand. You get tired of beating your dick after a while. Nah, no, that would have <laughs> <been, that> <laughs> changed my. A month like alone, you Wait, ain't so see nobody. You're just not, alone not in your Not when I'm about to go down on the sardine can. There's no way. What was her attire? What is She had jeans on? Like an overall. She had overall, she's, 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 a, she's a this farmer. Is a word. She was a farmer. farmer. She, like she a, was harvesting before she leaked she up. She had a turtleneck you. and overalls on. That's you smelt it through that. That's the weirdest combo I've ever heard and in my was, life. She was wearing Uggs too. You're you lying. smelt her through You're the lying. Carhartts. Not lying. <laughs> the what? The, the Carhartts. You know the overall, the Carhartts. No, what is that? The oh. farm. Carhartt. Sorry, with the little, the little overall brand to be wearing, like the construction worker to be wearing. Oh, I know that's the name of the brand now. I thought it was called Carhartt. I don't know. Carhartt. It's something like that. All I know is I would never in my life talk to a girl who wears a, a turtleneck and an overall. You got to like change the situation, like flip hey, around, like make it sexy. You got to be bounce like, back, Sneeko. Yeah, that was you that was a low point. You might not be able to, you know, Cap. Yeah, he can. What are you talking about? Right I have bounced back. I'm I'm out of that. Wait, you just, you that. bounce back from worse than that? Yeah, I bounce back doesn't mean worse. Bounce back means back. I know. One do you thing know what bounce back like, means? I know you bounce back from a five point deficit. That's easy to do, but you bounce back from a twenty point deficit. That's a little harder. You know, no. you were down by like you're down by forty five at least yeah. right now. Nah, nah, it's seventy two at six. least. It's seventy two six. Halftime. Y'all got four players. <laughs> Your yeah. center's injured. You you're can playing come back from any deficit. You you can always come back. That's true. Yeah. 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 You but next time you're in that situation, underdog. you gotta you gotta just finesse it. Like you gotta just be like, oh man, we gotta finish working out. Can I take a shower right quick? Like, if you if he told thing? he told her anyway, so it doesn't matter. Most After girls do that it. though. Most girls ask to like, oh, can I take a shower or yeah. something like that. I always leave baby wipes in the bathroom. Like at least just give it a once over. You know. So she didn't get she didn't get she didn't go in the bathroom. Freshen up. She was in there for a minute. I don't even know what she was doing. She's probably just jogging or like doing push ups. Oh, no. She was jogging. She was squatting. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, but another reason why I don't do that is because I mean that that could be no cat. That could be an STI, yo. Oh, it wasn't. Luckily, STI. How do you? Oh, you got to test it. Yeah, what do you mean? How? It's not that okay, hard. You got to test it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Of course. That was first. Mm. What was it? That was what? That was the first thing I did the next day. Oh, okay. Like, Someone else did tell me that that thing stayed. Nigga, this is wrong with you, Sneeko. You think if you. Somebody in the first thing you did the next day is like, man, that shit was so dangerous. I'm telling you, it was a low tested. point. I was, it was a deficit. Damn, what you want me to say? Was she sexy though? No, 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 no man. Bro. She was wearing overalls and a turtleneck, <laughs> nigga. So wait, hold on. Let me, let, let me get all these visuals. You images. want you want to hear an even more sadder part of this shit? She kind of looked like my girlfriend, just an uglier version. Oh, you was down, down, bad boy. Like, she, she, a, I, I think she was like Senegalese too, or some. Yeah, she was an obese. Yeah, <laughs> damn. So she was she was a, a twin of your girlfriend, but uglier, but uglier, hairier, hairier no drip, smellier, smellier, and a they them, and not even a girl. Yeah, get this on my come, chest. You gotta come out, talk to you guys. Yeah, man. get Doctor Phil on. Yeah, man. Who? Doctor Doctor Love. Doctor Love. Doctor Love. Doctor Low Love. Who's that? You call him Footlong? Doctor Phil. I heard, I heard you call him Doctor Footlong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard, bro. That's what you heard. Oh my what god! What kind of therapy you got going on? Weird ass sex store with all my guys. Yeah, so that's what we went tonight. We went to talk at Valentino for you. Which I is, mean, uh, maybe that's how I, I'll bounce back there. Yeah, yeah I think they got like, no, I'll you won't. Back. They got bounce back, man. Actually, yeah. you'll go worse. You can't get no. you can't get lower than how low I got. Ah. Low. <laughs> you right. You right. <laughs> you about to tell me you right. You'll realize you can't actually. <laughs> no, no, no. You right. They got like special dark rooms with mystery boxes and stuff. So Did you like, watch that episode? No, I didn't. Oh, it's great. Explain it's like it. it's a mystery in a garage. So you, do you want me to explain to you? You want to just go in there? I want to get the real experience. <laughs> yeah, let's save that. Sure. And we can get my reaction. For sure. You're going to be surprised. <laughs> You're going to be real surprised. surprised. Like for real, for real. Surprised. So it's yeah. not any fun at all? You're not, we're not no, gonna... it's a lot of fun. I'm not. I'm sneaking. He was completely uncomfortable for me. Okay. 
It's like they got. Oh, you you seen? Can porn? you vlog in there? Hell no. Right? I don't know if you want to watch the footage. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. No. You may not want to no. play back the footage. No. no. I remember last time I went. I came. I went in my A and P hoodie. And I, every time I saw somebody that was like, m- like under the age of twenty five, I just did this right here. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> I had to cover up the logo, man, because I can't buy affiliation. Yeah, I just went in the wrong attire at the time, man. You know, That's what it was. Might be to find some true love tonight. We get us some toys for your, your people. You know what I'm saying? I can finally get dick that. face. The yeah, dick face, a chin balls. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, about that the was dick never. Face. Someone sent me that on Twitter. I after didn't that see that. I, and we, the last time we went, I didn't see a dick face. I didn't see. A, no, I did see a dick face. Not when I went it. with you, I bro. But like I went, I went one more time. But that was it. That was that. Was, Whoa, you're a regular now. <laughs> What's up with you? No, 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 not, how many not, times have you been to not this place? To have, no, no, no. I, do, oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, how many times you go? Oh, let me breathe. There's a lot membership. Of, so I was going back to back to back to back with these jokes. Like I'll be all up in a oh my brain. Uh, uh, okay. Anyway, um, no, I went to the one by the crib uh, oh, okay. a couple times, and I went to the one with you once. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so there's tears. It's like a chain sex store, but there's one local, one like center one in Atlanta that has not only the sex store at the top, but also this is a chain. It's it's franchise. It's franchise, it's franchise, yeah. franchise, yeah, franchise, real big. But there's but there's one in Atlanta, yeah, where it's like the sex store's on the top floor, and below it is sex dungeon. They got blow up dummies. Yes, 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 they do. That's that's a given. They have like thing. real life, real looking. Toy, like, like the silicone like, mannequin. I say, let's a human a, being, bro. They're the yeah. silicone mannequin. Human. Think, think, think a little bit more into it, because blow up dolls is like very basic. That's level. like 2005. Yeah, bro. that's that's very. They got basic 2020 level. versions. Think more deeper into that. Like she has limbs and shit. You can move her limbs. limbs? I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm just like, like an action figure. Yes, a life like a real yes. Correct. The robots. I always really wanted to like just try. There was there was a Toronto in when I was Wait, in what Toronto. What do you want to try? You want to one? Yeah, like one of those dolls. But Wait, like you got a doll dolls. or a robot? The robot. I got you. Okay. I'm just going. We could just me and Low work together. I will save a little bread and get like four of them and just put them around your room. So four? When you up, yeah. When you wake up, they'd be all standing around you. Yes. <laughs> I'm with that. You with that? Nah, but they had a store like that that opened up and there was like four that you could f- and you had to choose and book a time. There was literally so a store. So they shared more than one people. Yes, so people could just come in and they get sterilized and shit afterwards. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, you're pretty sure. Um, yeah, I've never been in there, so I don't know. But I remember um, this was, I think, right. It was near the time I moved here to Atlanta because I remember seeing it on like the Toronto Instagram pages, and I was like, oh, word. And that place got shut down real quick <clears throat> from the city because they were like, that's illegal. No, I like, Tokyo Valentino needs to get shut down real quick. There's police at the front door guarding it. So it's not like... Which is wild. They, like, they know what's going on, but it's, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I guess it's not prostitution. No, it's not. Yeah. I guess it don't matter. It's just like a party. But if you go to a club, you know what I'm saying, you f*** someone in the bathroom, you probably pay to get into the club, at least if you're a guy, um, and it was a decent place, you know what I'm saying, and then you have to get like a booth, uh, uh, uh. That's not really prostitution either. Just because you paid money and you had sex doesn't necessarily mean it's... I know, went to a club in Berlin like that called Berghain and there were people just like f***ing in the... It was like a nightclub oh, techno out club. in public? Like right there, yeah. There'd be like little <coughs> sectioned off things like a closet, but it's open. Oh, and right. there's a ledge and people are just f***ing there. Like you walk past the bar, there's people f***ing over the, in the corner. That's there's crazy. There's like a, they have a dungeon and the same thing in the showers where... I always wanted to... Oh, well, you probably seen something similar to what I I didn't go in the dungeon. I'm not going there. I oh, well, never like, mind. Okay. Peeing well, on each other. You'll still, you'll still, yeah, they were like pissing on each other, like a bunch of gay guys peeing on you each know, other. Like, water, I actually, I actually you never have thought to about drink that. to be able to like do that for more than two minutes. I mean, <laughs> like, let them do what they want to do. Like, you would have to drink so much water heading into that place oh, yeah. to, to have the fucking fluid. Yeah, you think they make fun of you if you have bad stamina? Yeah, they're like, ah, oh, your stream lasted 20 seconds. Get out the top floor, you're an amateur. <laughs> Yeah, that shit I actually crazy. never thought about that's that's what they might be doing in that floor drinking all that that's probably water. what they're doing there's yeah, probably, there's they're probably a shower. A, that's a shower what they're doing they're peeing on each other damn what did he say he, he said drinking each other. all that water twice and then went damn drinking all that like think about this going there like just think about you wake up in the morning planning your day to go piss on some niggas oh I thought <laughs> like you walk in there you pay a mission it's like yeah I'm about to just let this agent, out on agent somebody agent thought agent thought the niggas peeing in the niggas mouth and drinking that's, that's what, what I, I thought he was saying bro. oh nah I was like John you, you saying nah. that way too sensually man into nah, the microphone it's the fact that some people do stuff on a regular basis yeah. when you go three times a week just peeing on there or just getting pissed on like damn I'm trying to get wet up today long day at work been in the cubicle all day a can't little wait dry. so I get off man yeah, get pissed on by some random pissed. man 
I'm not gonna lie. Every time it's I sip, no, it's <laughs> okay. It's white. It should it should be clear, bro. If you huh? drink a water, yeah. it should niggas be clear. in there pissing on your bed. That's not clear. What if it is yeah, yellow? Someone's yellow pisses <laughs> you. <laughs> Super yellow. That's, like, there's gonna be a couple yellow the streams in there. <laughs> yeah, they're in the shower, so you it's still, like it stands out more in the shower. Lemonade. No, you're still getting washed up. Hot lemonade. Does that really make it better? It's disgusting. No, but I'm saying to them, they might justify because I'm just. You think the niggas in there care about their piss? I'm about to say their piss coloration. (laughs) They legit don't care. (laughs) No, but I think it's like common courtesy. I feel like when you're pissing on somebody, that's a nasty nigga you want to get pissed on. They want it the darker it is. You know what I'm saying? I would assume. I would assume. No, no, no. I think they like the raw. I think they would like the dark. That dark. That dark. Where it's hot. You got like ice cream the day before. No, because the, the clear piss with water it has no smell. It's just sitting. That's what's what I'm saying. That's kind of boring. You want that? You want that? That hot? That that the orange like. You ever go in a park at the rec center? Bloody piss. You know what I mean? Yeah. You go to the park at the baseball park. You smell the bathroom like damn this shit stink. Or like a porta potty. What that smell? Nigga, if I'm getting peed on, right? I definitely, if I'm gonna go out of my way to get pissed on, it better not just be like a stream of water. Like I want to. You don't know that on. though. Well, maybe uh, you do like the actual act of being pissed on, but you don't like it to be disgusting. You want to be hot. What is the act of it? I think they don't. Disgusting is out of the equation. Yeah, that's when what you're saying. talking about peeing on I another guess. person, there's no germs. There's no grossness. They that actively doesn't are looking exist. for that. That's, maybe, that's why they like it. Or maybe the fresh piss niggas are more valuable. Mm. Maybe okay. if you have pure piss, <laughs> okay. we can go on too deep in this hey, John, you went too far, man. Because they come in too like, far, yeah. John. The bougie fresh piss, yeah, dudes, the bougie ones. They think they're so much better. My piss is clear. <laughs> Yours is murky. Yeah. We, okay. So we go on and uh, yeah, we out. Okay, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Every time a nigga goes, I it's like y'all just. It's really hard to explain it, bro. Hey, what if you get pissed on? Have you gone? Huh? No, have you I gone? Didn't. I have not gone. You going tonight? You going? Yeah, come yeah, on, pull up. Yeah. Pull up, John. We got to get some toys for the pod anyway. For the pod? Oh, because we got a yeah. guest coming. Yeah, the guest you got a guest coming. coming. Oh, okay. And so That will be a wild podcast if we do all that. Yeah, no. We, yeah. Put it on we might fans. have to cut part of that off to just put on Patreon. Yeah. I'll volunteer to use the toys on her. If it comes down to it, you're the producer, John. So we need you behind the desk. No, I got at all times. At all times, I got to produce. I get it, but for we, if you don't produce the podcast, then she can't use any toys. So at all you times, we need you to be behind it. Like at no point can you leave that chair, huh? Not so. We're gonna bring her back here. Nah, because she has to be on camera on one of these. Three I got a John cam though. See, hey, yeah, but she's gonna be on the couch. She gonna huh? She gonna be on the couch with us. Oh, but so. So you gonna use it? No, no AJ, he don't, he don't, he gonna use he don't it. want to want to date. Am I? I'm invited, right, to this podcast? You're not gonna oh, be you, here. Yeah, you absolutely come to that. Be hilarious. Oh, okay, okay. Are you gonna be here? Yeah. Can I be the only one on the couch with her? No. All right. Yeah. All right, Sneeko. That can't be. We can't do that. Hey, man. Are you gonna right, be a right. casting couch? We can, we can get you some girls, bro. Giant. That'd come be on. wild if she use our set for one of her. This scenes. does kind of look. I don't almost corny. appreciate that. You appreciate that. <laughs> I don't Because she might leave a mess Oh she yeah sh- Clean it up afterwards Oh okay I don't know how freaky what? she gets <laughs> Yeah Hey okay. um, Let's move on to a different topic Aside from people f***ing our furniture Um, That's it We're out of topics Let's talk about the Atlanta Braves Okay uh, <laughs> You're bored uh, Well how long are you uh, in Atlanta? No cut Till Sunday Flying back for Valentine's Day Hey Oh so you're, you're not going to be here for the um, thing. Oh wait 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 You're um, Flying back for Valentine's Day? You're yeah. You're staying. You're being here. You're you're in Atlanta for Valentine's Day. Nah, New York. Oh, okay. Oh, Why? What's on Valentine's Day? Nothing. Oh no. What's in New York? <laughs> Nothing. That's in two days. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm oh. saying. Damn. All right. What's back in New York, man? You gonna be dropping some videos? Yeah. Got to get back on the grind. Mm. Mm. Do you feel like traveling interrupts your YouTube grind? Mm. Nah, it helps me. I don't. I I don't have anything on my schedule. I don't do anything. So the only time I have stuff to look forward to is when I book flights. Oh, say word. That's it. That's the only thing I wake up for. So, were you in New York when that snowstorm hit? Yeah. Damn, what'd you do? You just stayed inside? Did nothing? For, yeah, like a week. You just sit inside. You can't even open your door sometimes. Because it's that? Because it's like two feet high. Like, where are you going to go? That's insane. Well, where are you going to go? That is wild. You got to jump over the sidewalk all the time. The snow mushes everywhere. Yeah, I, I know what it's like to have a lot of snow, but I don't know what it's like to have a lot of snow in a city, like in a condensed city where there's way that's too sucks. many people. That's why I come down here to like Atlanta, Miami all the time. Like, it's just. It's so it's open. Every you can only eat outside in New York. You know that it's like just the huts on the on the sidewalk. 
Oh, these are like restaurants that like go out yeah, and sit down? Yeah, it's like everything is built pretty much on the street. Everybody has to sit outside. Damn. So you, In the you, snow? Yeah. Oh, man. Yes. That's tough, actually. That's actually, uh, um, yeah. Somebody was telling me, like, even, like, in D.C., like, the amount of, like, just places there are to eat in Atlanta and, like, Miami, like, just in the south is way different than it is, like, up north, even in, like, D.C. and North Carolina areas. Yeah, nothing you so can I do. Thought, I thought that was a common thing, like, we're just <laughs> random restaurants. Yeah, I think it's going to be nice. I feel like by, like, summer this year, you know what I'm saying, most people have been got the vaccine by now because right now they're just doing, what, health professionals and old people. And even if you're young. got it. Your mom got it? Yeah. What's she work as? Uh, social worker. She just like, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say all that. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, I heard it's pretty hard to get it. Like, it's actually pretty challenging to get it unless you meet like the qualifications. I'm hoping at some point it could like open up and everybody can get it and then boom. You know so what why saying? are they allowing, so he's allowing NBA players to get it? Now, I know business people have gotten it. I've been on calls with people who are like, yeah, I'm just recovering from the vaccine. I got it yesterday. Been out of it. And then usually like after a day or two, like they're back in it. That's crazy. Yeah. They just giving millionaires a vaccine. Yeah, money you yes. can get it. What'd you expect? Like that's always how it is. That's wow. That's tough. But yeah, well, yeah. So when they get a vaccine, they're gonna go clubbing. Off the rip, right, John? To every Club lounge. Hmm? Clubbing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's you gonna do, right? Yeah. The strip clubs that you like to go to. Yeah. With the ones. With the suit on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, pulling up to a strip club in that suit it would be hilarious. It'd actually be bait. They think you have actually, a lot of have money. Have you gone to a strip club here? Yeah, I love the show for yeah. No, have you gone here? Yeah, I went with John. We went. Oh, which one? Yeah, I went to. We went to Blue Flame. How was it? It was, it was straight. Yeah, it was a straight night. Yeah. All right, cool. Damn, cause we went to um Gold Rush. You know Gold Rush? No. It was fun. It was on point. You want to go there after this weird gay club? That's literally what we did last like two weeks ago. We went to, to cleanse ourselves mm-hmm. from. We went to that's, <laughs> that's where I got all those ones from because we literally went to Tokyo Valentino and then went from there to the strip club. Straight Interesting. High. We about to do that two, what, three weeks in a row? <laughs> what? No. Valentino and strip club? No. I can't go to strip club today. Whoa. Why? Because he Whoa! Got me, uh, hey, hey. Oh! But you know to talk about Valentino? No, nah, I don't have that much time, bro. I got about like 30 oh, minutes, man. I can't just. I can't oh, so you can't go to Tokyo okay, Valentino. Okay. No, I'm saying I can't just be sitting in the strip club for two hours, bro. Yeah, you're too you good for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have the time right now. Yeah, oh, I got, busy, I got a lot busy, of business right? to take care of. Oh! oh! It's, a business, it's a brand deal. I haven't completed a brand deal. I've been working on oh, oh, that's what we're talking about. Oh, brand deal. Oh. Oh. You, you get that brand deal. Yeah, you getting them brand deals. that brand deal. You lay that down, that brand deal get laid down, right? I hope so. Night long, you know what I'm saying that's you know, that's what I get. Yeah, you recording for. for brand deals all night yeah. long. Huh? No, no, I just did it. I just did a fucking banger of an ad and they, a fucking they banger. Oh, oh, banger. A fucking banger. <laughs> hey, I mean dead ass. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ass is dead. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Alta bro, shit. Uh, 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 they, yeah, real shit. Yeah, they sent some yeah. feedback and I wasn't fucking with the feedback, so now I gotta make changes to the brand deal. Oh, type of course, shit. Yeah, y'all wouldn't understand, man. Y'all wouldn't of understand. Course, yeah, of course, of course, I wouldn't. So. Of course, yeah, y'all know what it's like, man. So you can't go to Tokyo Valentino, then? Oh, I could pull up to that for sure. Oh, <laughs> you gonna make a space for that, but not the strip club? You're a weird individual. Yeah, man. No priorities cap. are low. You go for the men and not for the women. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> That's what you're doing You're going for the men And not the women So uh So Sneeko Oh my bad <laughs> What the fuck John you good man So Sneeko <laughs> On your on your uh, top five list Of uh, five things you look for In a woman Right Has that changed What so, I say do you, do you have the list Of what I said I don't know what I John said John should I said womanly Which I, I yeah. Took back And I definitely said Feminine afterwards John Do you have that list for us Producer I want to go in my, in my archives Okay, okay, cool, cool. We're so while he looks that up, yeah. Um, I don't think so. Off the top of my head, I don't think anything has changed. Nothing? No. Nah. I'm looking at my not archives even, now. What else would I look for? Not even, not even communication? Uh, I, I think the communication was there. Just women are, are emotional like that. And they don't really, I don't think women really know what they want. <laughs> oh, man, John. I think, I think women need guidance. Oh, sneak mm. man. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if that's how you feel. <laughs> Do you, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, like women sometimes like think they want something and the next day it's completely different. Or like even though you have communication, like and you'll talk, they'll just text you, "I'm fine," and you know they're not. That's just how women are. Mm. Mm. How often you send a "I'm fine" text and you know you're not fine? Mm. You don't do that. 
That's women. I definitely wouldn't. I'm. Are you, are you the type of person to just unload your problems on somebody? I would just ignore it. Or like I'm fine. It's just like I got shit to do. I don't need to like communicate all my problems with you right now. Or like you'll ask her what's wrong. She's I'm fine, and you know, you know she's not. Yeah, yeah. I can see what you're talking yeah, about. I see. I see it. Or oh, you can see what he's talking in that one analogy in that context. So yeah, in, in that specific and that context. same girl will say that she wants communication in a relationship. She wants everything to be open, and then she'll she'll be the same person. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, but that's all just, the other stuff trait. about women needing to be guided because they're so emotional, they don't know what to do. That part, okay, I didn't say that, but yeah, women need some guidance. Yeah, men need men need guidance too. We need uh, feminine guidance just as much as women need masculine guidance. There's a safe. There's a safe. I like that safe. Um, Maybe they need a little more than we do. Man, you just keep going back. Men are naturally leaders. Yeah, we lead. That's what we do. Also, you, so how, how traditional are you? That's just true. I mean, that's just a natural thing in men is we lead. I mean, I didn't really answer more my question. Taking. I didn't answer my question. Well, how traditional? What, is it, what yeah. do you mean by traditional? Traditional, like, you know, leader, provider. Yeah. How, how traditional? Like, how how. how I don't think I'm that traditional because I think that you would agree with most of that stuff. Like, men should be the ones providing. Providing to what extent? Financially and emotionally. Should we men are supposed to provide emotionally too? Yeah. Not Keep, both. Yeah, both. Okay, right, so what are you talking about? Men have to. Men are the ones that are supposed to provide. Well, I'm, one thing to provide that means that the other person isn't doing it because you were the one who were providing it. That's how I interpret the the context of provide. But women aren't supposed to provide financially. That's just not something that they're required to do. They're not supposed to. It's not expected. Not even not, not even the slightest. Not really. So do you believe that? Do you believe in 50 50? We, we about to go fucking ask this question now. We never asked you. Yeah, that's just most women expect the man to provide. Most men have to provide. That's, uh, that's how it is. But so do you believe it? It doesn't that? really matter what I believe in. Like you have to adhere to no, yeah, the does, expectations. Yes, it and, does. Do you believe in that? Uh, that we should? Yeah, I do. Yeah. That you should provide, there's no 50 50, and that's what you do in your relationships? Like, the idea is nice to go 50 50. That's just not how it is. Cause and I'm not, when I say 50 50, I'm not saying everything is split down the fucking middle. Like, where's your, where's your $15 for the gas bill, honey? Like, no, I'm not talking about that. But like, like, you pay everything, and she may buy you some Skittles at the gas station. You want that's not 50 50, though. But that's not what I'm talking about either. I'm talking about like, maybe, maybe y'all's rent or mortgage is split 50 50, but it's like, if I go eat one day, you're paying, and vice versa, y'all kind of just balance things out. Like, it shouldn't be. I'm saying every 50 50 is different. Time. Like, women have different things to provide, and the financial situation just depends is for the man. That's how it is. So it's 50 50, but financial. It's our, so what do, what do they bring to the table that makes If you 50, found a girl 50? that was down to split it with you, though, 50 50, uh, 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 she's like, I don't need you to be a provider. Would you be fucking with that? Or would you be like, no? Nah, yeah, I would I be. But it's just most women aren't like that. Most women don't have enough money to, or don't have a business mindset to do that. Yeah, they don't most, have the it's mentality. Not, it's not a business mindset. Most men just, don't either, to be honest with you. No? No, nah, I don't think so. A business mindset? Not a business mindset, but they don't have the men- a strong enough mentality to, well, in a financial sense, to. Be able to provide for a man. Most women aren't like that. But I don't think most men. Yeah, I agree with it. I don't. I don't think most people are in a situation where they can provide for not only themselves, but another individual as well as kids. Like I don't think. But they're expected to eventually. You're supposed to work towards that. That's what men work towards. But if that's the case, then then why no one should be in any type of serious relationship until you're like in your late twenties or thirties. No, you could could be flawed. You could be flawed, but in general, down the line, like that's the one who's going to rely on. I guess um, I don't really. So see. So that's not traditional. That's just how it is. I don't. I don't really see I mean, relationships like tr- that. I would, yeah. I would, even I. The reality is, I'm. I, I doubt I'll ever meet a girl that makes more money than I make. So, you know, what I'm saying I just realized that I have. I'm, I'm going to be one to do things, and I'm not going to lower my the shit that I'm used to down to match the person I'm fucking with. So if I'm asking her to go eat at a spot, but it's expensive, but I don't give a fuck. I'm paying for it because I can't expect her. To pay for some shit I just wanted to do it But from time to time It would be nice If she would offer uh, But I just know That that's probably Not gonna happen Too frequently And I'm not really Looking forward to it either I just appreciate it Whenever the fuck it happens That's just how I see Things personally So if I'm doing I just appreciate the gesture Yeah You never expect her to pay But I I expect her to pick up In in a lot of different areas Then cause Otherwise it's like Like cooking Like cleaning Yeah like she had to be Supportive I definitely 
Uh, there was a guy who was on the podcast who was like, I want a teammate, not an opponent, which is facts. Like, I don't, I'm not trying to have arguments with you after a long day about dumb shit because you're bored. I refuse type shit. So she has to be all of that, too. Um, and then it'd be also be nice if she had her own thing going on. Cause if not, then she's going to be waiting around for you all fucking day bored. And mm-hmm. then like, you're tired, exhausted, but she wants to do things. Because she's she all high energy when yeah, you're ready she hasn't to done thing all, She hasn't done a single thing all day. Um, so she had to find ways to provide in that relationship that's outside of, um, financial or else it just wouldn't even make sense for you to be part of it. Cause at that point, what, you're just taking care of somebody mm-hmm. for what? For sex probably. For pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Decorated but that's wild though. But I, that's why, that's why. I wouldn't go as far as what you're saying. I understand the concept of it, and that's why I wouldn't say most. Like, I would hope that, that unless you're in a situation, like most of us in this room are in a very unique situation where we make more than the average person at our age. So if that's the case, then, like, I, I guess, right? But even in most situations, like, most men in their 20s are not making enough to really sustain not only themselves plus a whole nother individual. But they got to pay for dates. They're the one paying for dinner. But even that, I mean, I'm talking about in a relationship, not like we're dating, getting to know each other. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I don't, I sure. In the first like handful of dates, if a man is playing, paying, okay. That's always how it is in the beginning. Yeah, I get that part. Not always. Really? I, I, on the first date, almost always. On the second date, I've had, I've had a decent amount of women, at least since I moved here, that um, like boxed me out and offered to pay. Especially if they were the one who set the date. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't I don't date too often. So if I if let's say I I'm going on a date with a girl, it went well for a day. I might not say nothing for like a week and a half, two weeks because I'm doing things. So she might be like, I want to see him again. Let's do this. And then she's probably gonna feel inclined to pay because she was the one who asked to do. I've been thing. invited out to like mini golf and stuff like that. She's the one who got tickets and was all excited about it. Yeah. And then when it t- came time to pay, it was like, all right, how much is it? And then she's just standing there waiting. Like oh, you, wow. you invited me to this. Like I didn't want to go fucking mini golfing on a Saturday. That's That's the worst. I had so many other things to do. Back when the movies are open. Here, oh, I want to go see the Notebook. <sighs> Shit, yeah, go ahead. I want to see it with you. <sighs> I don't want to see Notebook. I want to see Clash of the Titans. And then that's you're robbed of your time and your money. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's the thing I really value more than anything is I can make the money back. That's that's hardly gonna be the problem for me. But the time is like, first of all, if we didn't have fun, then it's a wrap. I probably will never see you again because I'm not about to start doing things with somebody that's boring. But even if we have fun, if you're not, if it doesn't feel like it's going somewhere, it has to be fun and convenient or I feel like it's going somewhere. If neither of those are happening, then boom, it's cut off. That is wild that like women expect to be like, they could stare at you first, right? And you notice them staring. You make the approach and they'll be like, oh, you asked me out. It's like, not really. You were staring at me. So you were asking me out before I approached you. You just don't do the approaching because you didn't want to get rejected. But you make the effort of asking because you don't give a fuck about being rejected. And then she says she's with it. But now that you ask, you had to pay for it. But even then, she'll like suggest some shit. Like maybe maybe you want to eat like soul food. And she's like, oh, let's go to the Japanese spot. But then it's like, all right, you just there's a change in the schedule now. But still, the expectation is still you're getting paid even if you don't like that. Japanese Eight out of ten stuff. times, I'll go out with a girl and she don't even finish the food. That too, you man. That, that oh, too. Man. She, barely, she barely touch why it. Like, are, I feel like, why are people ordering more food than they know they're they not paying eat? for it? That's yeah. crazy, bro. There was a girl I <laughs> went out fact, with. There was a girl I went out with, bro, and she would order like food. And I'm like. I, I just I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna box her out from ordering nothing, oh, but yeah. but then I know she's not gonna finish yeah. none of that, and then she'll bag oh, she, it up. I'm not I'm no cap. I think she's bold. just using you as a as a meal. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. so that's that's a wrap right there. That's because so, that, at that point it's just disrespectful. And then it's like especially if I drove her to the spot, I guarantee you're not bringing food in my vehicle. That's just not hey, gonna happen. I'm, I'm gonna tell you a story how my nigga went out bad. I'm not gonna say his name because he went out bad, but. She, he let her look order. At me? He let her order food, right? Uh-huh. So he ordered food. She ordered food. So tell me why she orders a kids meal. She orders a kids meal to go. She ordered her food, an appetizer, and dessert. Nigga, she feeding niggas at the crib. She's feeding niggas at the crib. That's so. So like in my like my relationship, for example, like I definitely I don't believe everything is like exactly split down 50-50 in the middle. But for example, we went to um, we did like a little staycation not too long ago. And I paid for the hotel room, right? Because it's out on a way like north of Atlanta. Um, once we did that, we also went to Top Golf. We also went bowling. We also went. And to you like, pay for everything? No, no, no. She paid for this for every the hotel too. No, no I paid for the hotel. Okay, but she paid for Top Golf, bowling, 
Um, we went to um, a haunted house. She bought tickets and stuff like that. These are things she actually bought tickets, and we just. I just but would you have up. done that? Would you have done that on your own? Would you have gone like to a haunted house and bowling? These are like uh, these bowling. Are- yeah, I mean, because it was staycation, so we're doing things as well. Top Golf, I've never been, so I wanted to go. She oh, okay. actually asked me that. Yeah. So you actually wanted to do these things? Yeah. All right. And I like for example, nothing. We went to Sip and Paint like not too long ago, and she just paid for the ticket. So I just literally pulled up and was there, and we were ready to go. How happy were you? Ecstatic, right? I was ecstatic, not, and it wasn't really. I was ecstatic because she was like, it was a financial end. It was, I was ecstatic because it was like something that I don't have to like think about. Like that's the one thing that I, that's the reason why I enjoy someone paying for me because it's not like you I can have just enjoy to, the time and just have fun. Yeah, I can just enjoy the time, have fun, or just like not have to constantly schedule things. I just like rolled over the next morning in the hotel room. She's like, oh yeah, at um at six we have to be at the haunted house. Like oh, say less. So there was no like me having to look for anything, me having to schedule it out, me having to do nothing. She was already done because I did all. You got that taken out on a date. I uh, so when the food, I think we paid for. I, I paid for everything else when we got to eat. Oh, then we went to um a massage place, and she paid for that. How long is this? Like two days, three days, two and a half, I believe. I want to do something like that. That's dope. Yeah, it was all dope right. as fuck. That sounds so that's, dope, man. So that sounds real dope. So that's what I'm talking about when I say fifty fifty. You don't have to be exactly like. 50 50 I'm we're gonna get the invoice and I'm gonna send you your side of the bill but I'm talking about like if I'm paying for this then you pay for those things as well and even though the the amount itself won't end up being 50 50 at least the effort yeah. of what we're doing in yeah but that's good because your girl is not like of the mindset that like I exist and therefore I deserve to be um like what's the word like she don't walk around like she knows like this is a relationship. Like you have to offer things in the relationship and that can come in like many different forms. So like if she knew that was important to you, can you imagine if she was like, no, he's supposed to pay for things. It's like, then she yeah. just robbed you of like the joy that you had doing all those experiences and then doing it with her. Yeah. So it's like, it's not, and they're not like top golf is not, you're not breaking the fucking bank going to top golf, man. That's, and that's really the thing. I'm like, I don't think it's being petty over. Like if I just say, just pay for the top golf ticket, like that's what you're being petty for right now. To me, that's just wild. Or even when we go, like, we're looking to move out, right? Even when we go viewing houses, I don't have to, even this is like, this is still free, right? But I don't have to, like, sit there and scroll through Zillow and all these other sites to try to figure out what house we're going to, the witch call. She'll just be like, all right, babe, here's a house out here. Like, she's already done all of that because she know I'm going to take my time out from working to go with her to go do all those things. Like, that's the type of shit I'm talking about, where it's just, like, 50-50, not just money but also time Mental effort, and, effort. Yeah. yeah all that stuff is all split down the middle like you're doing this i'll do this so when we get together it's both easy and seamless on both of our ends yeah and and i get what you're saying about the whole leading thing but i'm doing that all day for work all fucking day i'm doing exactly that and so when i want to take a break that position whoever is taking lead is vacant you know what I'm saying? Mm. And so if she's not able to just pick that up, adopt some responsibility and keep shit moving and, or like, you know what I'm saying? Then it's like, then where is your value if when I'm too exhausted to do that role with you right now after this long ass day that you can't just like set something up? Like, where are we eating today? Like, that was you know like the saying? worst part about the the open relationship was that like fucking around with new girls who aren't your girlfriend or, or not your wifey. You have to do the whole like first date thing again. Yeah, that, you have to impress. You have to like go out on the dinner. You need to you need to lead again and again. And you're tired and you're. It's like that type of. That's like a part time job. I swear, bro. And it, it shouldn't so be texting it should, it shouldn't and. Be. It shouldn't be. It is. It is. But I, I just is. established. But it shouldn't be. Though. The expectations are really, 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 written. All the stuff you got to do. It's a part time job. It's a lot of effort. Let them know you go on break. You could spend a whole day like preparing for that and getting ready, thinking about it. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a big waste of time. It is a waste of time. Oh. It is a waste. No, dating is largely for, a waste for of the time. For most of what what you're trying to achieve, it may not seem like it, but all of the fucking trials and error, then you used to look back and like, I just wasted I a mean, bunch just of time. Rush into it. More like people just rush into um, relationship. I agree. That's the reason why I tell people all the time: don't rush into a relationship. It like, takes like it takes yo, like months to learn somebody. People get in relationships yeah. like three or four weeks. So you don't know that person. You just less than, and that's why it don't work out. But most of the people who do that, they know for a fact they don't huh? have. Hmm? That's why you don't work out. That's why it doesn't work out. Oh, okay. You I did. thought I heard something different. Go ahead. Look. Oh no, you, you didn't know. No, nah, because like that's that's the reason why I be telling people like all the time. I think a lot of people who end up doing that, rushing into a relationship, 
I think those people either a fall victim of like some type of mistreatment in their past, or b they know for a fact there's no real value that they're bringing to the table. So the quicker they can get into a relationship, the better, because it, at that point, it's less time to actually prove that you're worth something. It's <laughs> too. I was like, I've done that. Trying to bamboozle couple somebody. Relationships. Yeah, just possessive. trying. You're just trying to bamboozle them, like just so you can trick them into dating yeah. you before they actually figure you out. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's very it. sad. Before they understand the real you. <laughs> and then now you now like now we're four or five months into us in this relationship. And you're still playing the dating game. You're still trying to yeah, impress the other person exactly. instead of that's just... What, that's what's happening. Relax. Like, y'all are three or four times, yeah. three or four months in the relationship, but y'all are still moving like y'all are dating because y'all really don't really know each other like that. And you've been you're sitting still there. still performing. Exactly. So yeah, all that shit, it's just, it's just odd to me. I But I genuinely just believe, even if it's not 50-50 on a financial split, I do believe that you like women should just do something to just make life easy and simple for men. But the problem is that if it's not 50, 50, exactly down, it don't have to be again, it don't have to be exactly down the split financially, but if it's not anything financially, then that's what we got and got to the point where like, what do you bring to the table? And most women can't answer that question, but yet on the, on the flip side, and this is like really a lot of people, most people can't answer that. But for women specifically, like women already know for a fact what they want from a man yet. Hell yeah. It's, but it's just wild to me. I don't. I don't get that. Like, they just, just want to get it out of you. They know before, like when they're looking at you, they know what they want. And they're like, "Oh, I want to fuck him," or "I just want to," or "We're we gonna talk, Lauren." Talk. They know what they there want. There was this girl on South game. Beach uh, a couple of days ago, and we were just uh, me and my boy had we were just walking around with cameras, and then they asked for uh, to take photos, which is a good side hustle, by the way. You just walk around with the camera. People ask, like, we'll pay you like forty dollars to take a picture. And this girl comes up and she's like, how old is you? I'm like, I'm, I'm 22. I'm 24. I got two kids. What can you do to provide for my kids? I'm like, uh, you took too long to ask. I don't want you no more. And then to walked away already. So already she assumed, she put all this baggage of her two children on me. She, yeah. and I, all, I didn't even say hi. I didn't even say anything, but she already decided like, uh, I'm, you can't give, you can't give money to my kids. But isn't that, isn't I don't that, even know you. Isn't that crazy though? Cause it's a, to provide for a woman and two kids, you have to be making like definitely above average money. Isn't it crazy though that like men, it's okay for a man to be told like average is okay. Like you're fine if you just did something average. Of course you want to thrive and strive for something a little bit higher than that, but you're average. Like that is socially acceptable to tell a man that he's average. But if you told a woman that she's average, like that's just like a problem. Yeah. Why, why we use kid gloves when we, when we talk about women, like they're not human beings capable of processing emotion. Exactly. Like the rest of us, like that that shit is crazy to me. Like w- women think emotionally. Women don't them. think as rationally as men do. But no, so, but I, then they're but then I, they're tell they're telling us that they're des- if that's true, but they're still telling us that that isn't true. Like they don't want to be labeled as that, which I guess from your perspective could still just be them being emotional. Yeah, they, but like women don't really the, know what they want. Most most no, people. I think I think, I think there's an understanding because I think most people. I think don't. the expectation from a man, like you said, hasn't really changed that much. So what they want is still a provider. They still want someone to protect them. They still but then want they also somebody. want to be independent and they want to have like so equal pay. And it's just like you pick one or they don't want to be looked at as objects, but they also want to be provided for. I don't. It's all over the place. Mm. A lot of what this movement is like, it contradicts itself. It's mm. like, do you want me to pay for dinner or are you with they them? Like, are, are you a dude or not? Like, which why am I paying if you're not a girl? You know what I mean? Like, why aren't you paying for me? You're two people. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Mm, man, it's legal. I never the actually. Fuck? I never dated somebody who was the a date them. I have no idea that world. Yeah, don't. I have no clue. Or you can go ahead, but no, nah, don't. Um, I don't know. It's, I think it's just do all of them not shave, or do they not shave? I, I them don't shave. Oh. I I I just don't understand why we can't just treat people like people though. At the end of the day, it's like why like there's a certain set of rules on like how to conduct yourself. Like for example. And I, I get it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, to a certain extent, like, if I call you a bitch, it's fine. But if I call, like, a woman a bitch, it's like, that's, that's actually the worst words you could use in 2021. Depends on how you say to it. Just, a lot of women don't care. It, it, it depends on the type of woman. But it's like that word has grown to be more disrespectful in the last three years. Because it was just a casual word. Nobody really gave a fuck when you used the word bitch from time uh, to time. I I'm, I'm might lean more on sneak on. Yeah, I think you could say I it think the right there's word. definitely a, a portion of women who just accept that. There are also a portion of men who just say bitch. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. But it's kind of giving power to the word. I mean, all the double standards exist. Um, I think when people stand to benefit from a double standard, they just pretend like it doesn't happen. Or they'll appreciate it or glorify it. But when people 
uh, are harmed by a double standard, they call they're like, out. Yeah, it's like they make it their life's mission to make sure like there's equality there. But it's like that in and of itself is a fucking double standard. How yeah. can you not see the hypocrisy there? You should care about all of the double standards if you really are looking for fairness and equality. But it's like you just pick and choose which ones benefit you. But the, I, which I agree. But I think I think more so what sneak on us. What we're, we're talking about is more so like an actual lifestyle, like not just a unique situation where like for a word how it's being referenced we're talking about like how you interact with people in general yeah and that to me is even more scary because like like Sneak was saying like what do, what is it that you want because a lot of things that you're saying that you want contradict other things that you claim that you want as well so like just how you interact with men in general is like dangerous I don't know I'm that's the reason why like I be um even my girl asked me from time to time like oh like what are you thinking about like breaking up or like we'll do like these like monthly check ins and stuff like that with the relationship. She asked you if you're thinking about breaking up. No, nah, maybe not verbatim, but like we'll do monthly check ins. Like how are you feeling about the relationship and shit like that. And then like a lot of times I'd be like, part of me I'm like, there's no way I would ever want to like break up right now in this instant because it's like, like what the f- like I already know the shenanigans that fucking get happen. Like I don't want to go through that bullshit again. Like that's just. It's OD and it's a waste of time, really. Yeah, it so is. So part of the reason why I'm staying with you is like, it's not only because you're just amazing, but it's also like... Convenient? It's not even convenient. It's, I don't want to... No, it's just that I legit just don't want to deal with the fucking it's convenient. bullshit. Yeah. It's more convenient to not break up. Yeah. Or go through the effort of finding a new partner. It's just like, oh, this is easier. It's the last I th- I'm, I th- I'll say it's... I don't want to deal with the, the headache. Because convenient... You're, you're, you're settling a little bit. You're settling? It's not settling, no. Kind of. Actually, no, it's not. Don't look at me. Grill him like he's been grilling you on podcast. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not selling. If I know, if I know this is the smartest decision, and the reason why I know it's smart is because I also know the other decision is a horrible one. That's not settling and making the smart decision. He put you on a grill with no seasoning. <laughs> Oh, well, you, you don't, settling, you, settling would be. You don't want to go I'm, through the effort I'm, anymore of uh, finding a new person, like going through. It's the not breakup. effort because even if that's I, a lot of. You said it's it's not worth the work. No, I, that's not what I said. What'd you say? You're putting words in my mouth now, so like, Yeah, you putting words in my mouth. I never, I never said it's not, it's not worth the effort because I do believe it is worth the effort. What I'm saying is, I don't even think that it exists. It's like I don't think what we have right now even exists with anyone else. Like, period. So what you built can't be recreated. I don't think so. No, that's fair. Yeah. I, yeah, that's not settling. All right. Yeah, no. That grill had no seasoning. You're right. Yeah, no. Because, yeah, again, suddenly would mean like, I know this is a horrible decision, but I'm just going to take it anyway because I think it's the most convenient one, like you said. Okay, so you... No, no, that's what I'm saying. That's what settling is. I'm taking this poor decision because it's just uh, the most convenient one. It doesn't have to be a poor decision Those are the saddest relationships, in my opinion. Very sad. But, but the decision I'm I making most by, marriages are that. And people giving up on trying to yeah. find the perfect person. I think it's interesting how, like, in all areas of your life, you slowly just give up. Like your hopes and dreams Take a nosedive at a Because it thing. becomes more convenient To stay where you are Instead of Yeah go it Like again. in that With work With relationships Everything your is settling life, eventually You begin to tell yourself Like ah oh, there's no point Of trying to lose weight There's no point Of trying to get a raise There's no point Of trying to find Like a good partner Like but you I, just You just let life take you Because you give up On trying Because every time You fail You just Get older get, Yeah Yeah that's what I think I think that's what that is like when you just get to a point in life where you're like, you just realize you've ran out of time, you've made so many poor decisions in your past that you have now have to just settle with this bad decision that you're about That's to That's why make. I don't want like a, a, a one relationship like that. That's why I want an open relationship so bad because I don't want to give up, you know? There's, there could be another- But after, after a while- I get it, but that, that right there never ends though. Like you could bag the baddest. Ooh, 10 out of 10. But you then might think she's the baddest, and then there's someone else out but, there. But that's the thing, though, bro. Your girl is never gonna be the baddest. There's just no way because there's gonna be a badder chick out there. I mean, there. it's a way, and there might you find her. But no, that's okay, like okay, bro. That's, that's one out of how many billion, John? Man, you never give up. But, you're, but that's like that's you never give exactly. up. Never, never, never give up. But here's the thing: though, why? But why do you? Yeah, why? Yeah. Well, also, why do you, you could always improve? But can't, but that's the thing you're assuming that there is an improvement. But hold on, hold on. That improvement can happen in the context of a relationship too, though. What I agree with. What I agree to? I have no clue. Yeah, I feel like y'all both arguing against him when he says something wild. So you agree with what he's saying? No, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I agree with. I, I was, I, I, it made it seem like I was siding. I didn't want to make sure what, what, what I was. Oh no, 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 no! I'm, I don't think no. I, don't, I didn't. I didn't interpret you siding with him or anything like that. Oh, no. but what, what were you saying though? Just, what he's what he's trying to say is that there's always 
it's always just a better option out there. That's why he wants to keep an open relationship because I don't know believes. if the, a better option is a perfect way of saying it, but uh, I want an open relationship because I don't want to ever settle. He doesn't want to feel like who he's with right like now I'm is chained settling. down to it or like I'm staying in a relationship because it's easy. Oh, I always wanna, want to be chasing you don't something. Be, I want to keep that energy up of a, that single guy energy. You don't want to be in a relationship. Well, you you, you don't want to. I don't want to be, be in a monogamous a, relationship because I don't want to give up. But that's like why the I, idea I, that, there's, like, why that there's other people. Why that's, like, it's like, that's like why I upload a video. Like yeah, the video, theoretically speaking, could always get better. So why are you uploading a video? You upload it and then you move on to the next one. But that why, one was really good at the moment. Why just not keep trying to figure out if there's the best? Because it was fun to... in that time. It was fun to upload. It was, it was people enjoyed it, and you move on to the next one. So you settle for a video? It's not settling. What? You always upgrade. Every video is better than the last one. Okay. To me, it's like, uh, but I'm just I know basketball, so that's just why it's now just kind of mine. It's like if you, like if you're just running around just trying to figure out, like you know, you, it's like a shot clock. You got fucking a set, set amount of time to find a quality shot, and I'm not gonna sit here and just. Settle for a quality shot because I bullshit around. I couldn't. I didn't work hard enough to get a better shot early on the shot clock. So even if I'm attempting a shot with 18 seconds left in the shot clock, I legitimately believe this is the best shot I'm going to receive within that time frame. And so if everyone has a set amount of years for women, it's definitely shorter if they want to have children, right? So if everyone has a set amount of years, man, it's a lot. It's a lot longer. We, we yeah, it's can, a lot. We it's a lot. Let's do this longer. until like our fifties. So, but I'm just saying. But in general, it's still some type of time frame. So you just bullshit and you just keep thinking over and over. I'm yeah, gonna I don't want to think about being sixty or being old and married yet. I'm exactly. Gonna, you know. So, but like, if you just think you're going to keep getting a better shot over and over and over again, then at some point, because you're running out of time, that's when the true settling becomes. Because you realize it only have that a is certain a really good time. point. When you put it in a basketball context, it makes perfect sense. Let's say like. Okay, um, what team does this a lot? And the Toronto Raptors. Wow, they do this all the time. Where there'll be a fantastic shot available at the fucking 18 and second mark, pass. right? And they're like, but hold the fuck on, though. There might be a better pass. Dribble, dish out, dribble, dish out. You did that enough yeah. six, seven times. And there might be a magnificent shot that comes up. But there's actually times where the best shot that they could have took was at the 18 second mark. So it's like, if your life is a shot clock, you know what I'm saying? Women have like shorter shot clocks because again, if they want kids and they don't want complications, they got to do it at an earlier time. But it's like, you're going to eventually have to take the shot. If you're not comfortable with the shot at 20 seconds or 18 seconds, then you have to wait till eight seconds. But just know that it's a little bit riskier when you push it back further and further exactly. and further. And personally for me, like that means that let's say you're 35, but you're fucking with a girl that's like 25. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that difference in age right there. There's going to be like a, a bit of chemistry missing because y'all didn't grow up watching nothing the same TV shows, nothing. And anytime I've dated women where it was like more more than a three year gap to me, I could fucking feel the chasm of like we just didn't have the same things in common the way we could have because we didn't grow up on the same shit. We just grew up in different eras. So when she was in eighth grade, I was in. 10th grade type shit or 11th grade so it's like we just didn't watch the same shows and we didn't play the same yeah you don't need to have everything in common though you sometimes you your differences to, can help you blend together even more that's absolutely true um, yeah. which is we see well, plenty uh, of relationships where there's yeah, like age gap. yeah you need there's different age. ingredients if yeah. everything is exactly but a 10 the same year gap, bro, but a 10 yeah. year gap it's all like a cheese five bro. gap or, yeah I know I, if, it don't have to be exactly we both born in, in 92 but if it's like a 92 and 82 or 75 it's like right. me and my girl i was i'm 98 and she was 93 it's five, five years yeah. i think i think that's she's five years older than you yeah say word but i think that's acceptable i think that still works in the same yeah i agree dim- like dynamics but like when you start to get like she a said she decade, noticed a lot of a lot of she felt like i was younger a lot of the time yeah anytime i dated a girl I was over five years older like that did she bring that up to you a lot like yeah, when you're having a conversation time. you'd all be like time. That's because you just because because you're, you're immature or because yeah, you're too young. All the, that was yeah. the number one goal, and you can't really fight that. You can't really yeah. beat it. You can't yeah. ever grow older than. Say my bad, grandma. I, <laughs> I always say old jokes bad. My bad. Nah, it was but making steel when you was a kid, right? <laughs> oh my god, they get mad yeah. then. They don't like that. But that's that's a little. It comes it comes across as condescending sometimes because like you just feel like they think they know better in every situation. Because, well, yeah, they do. Just because of experience. Even girls that are two years older call me. Oh, you're a baby. I'm twenty. Okay, well, those girls. I was talking about girls three months older say. than those, me. Those, those girls are dumb thing, right? say, That's what you say too. If a girl like one, two years younger than you, you always make that joke. Like, nah, kid, my girl is literally one year younger than me, so I don't sit there. I mean, that's not a difference, but three plus. And they make jokes. That's dumb as fuck. Yeah, that is, that is interesting. I, I personally mean, like, you know what I'm saying? I just take the best percentage shot. You know, first of all, I feel like sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to be Clay Thompson on the court. 
You yeah. know what I'm saying? It don't matter who on Clayton Thompson. He pulling up for the shot. He gonna make the shot, man. I think like the more like the age differences. There's plenty of different variables that could complicate. You know, Dwight Howard from three. Yeah, yeah. Some Dwight Howard might hit a three from time to time. From time to time. And then people will use Dwight Howard from hitting a three as evidence that everybody else that shoots horrible three point percentages can also hit threes. That's usually what happens. People use the exception as a rule yeah. and be like, what do you mean? I saw this. Per- I saw Shaq get in a smart car. Of course it's spacious. It's like, no, Shaq had a fucking custom vehicle made for himself. Or they just edited it in the commercial. That too, man. Yeah, I just, I don't know, Steve, I, I, I understand where you're coming from and I think, I think for a portion of my life, I felt that way as well. Like, it was a portion of my life where I was like, man, I don't want to like feel like I'm settling. It's, I mean, it was a portion of my life where I didn't want to have kids and shit like that. But as time grew, I started to realize like, it's only so many shots, shot attempts that I'm going to get. And so if I know for a fact if it's a limited time, I need to, I need to know when to shoot and stuff like that. Um, but I personally just felt like the woman I'm, I'm with right now was the, like, that was the wide open, no brainer. It makes sense to take this shot. Me kicking it back out because I'm like, ooh, the nigga might get an easier ISO off on this nigga. Like, <laughs> when, like, there's no need for me to even do all that because the odds of me Recreating an easier shot than I'm taking right now is so unlikely. True. Yeah, it make you feel it's it's dumb. There. The shot's still there, though. You could get a. <laughs> Yo, this thing is retarded. You could do some dunk, some crazy shit, some crazy jump. You never know. Oh my god, crazy you know, jump! There's always a, crazy a better dunk. shot out there. And I'll, I'll even go this to continue with the analogy. Like, don't be fucking Tobias Harris in the fourth quarter. Like, don't get a fucking, in the playoffs, like, don't get an open shot and then you freeze and you're like, I don't know what the fuck to do with this ball. Like, no, nigga, like, if you in the game, if you dating, if you really trying to do this shit, you're trying to be in a relationship, be prepared, nigga, because the shot is going to come. So don't fucking freeze when it happens and don't act fucking retarded. Because some of you, I've, I know plenty of people who are like. Or Danny Green it. Oh yeah, yeah, Danny Green's even better. At the don't, top of the key. Yeah, don't be at the top of the key. LeBron <laughs> kick you. That uh, we air, all your niggas and left got you open, assisted it to you. Yeah. Kicked it and you fucking air ball. You hit the side of the fucking backboard like like, like Paul George. Specialist. That's the easiest shot. The ain't easiest. that sound like? Ain't, I hate it when like I know a nigga. He swear up and now he good with the ladies. Like oh, I'm ladies man. You know he trying to talk himself up. Uh huh. This nigga getting the game and just breaking everything. Nigga yeah, turning up. Paul George yeah, easily. Push. Paul George talking himself up before the game. Nigga getting the game. Niggas trashing the playoffs. Nigga set, taking, trying to take a charge under in the circle. Getting dunked on. Horrible. Blocking down bad. balls in the face and shit. So man. But hopefully, hopefully, hey, sneaker, man. Hopefully some of that wisdom rubbed off him. I'm a little older than you. You little young ass niggas. So I hope. Okay, hope you did grow on me? Yeah, I'm, I'm older than you, man. You just a little immature. Okay, okay. You know? All right. You know, heard that one. Um, anything else? Let me. I think that was some. Oh, what was your worst Valentine's Day? Since this is going to come out the day after Valentine's. Worst Valentine's Day. Yeah. Uh, eighteen years old in high school. It was that girl that I, I was friend zoned with for like seven months. Took her out to a to a nice restaurant, and she wasn't even my girl, and paid one hundred thirty dollars, which was at eighteen. Yeah. Hey, who are you doing yeah. selling weed? Nothing. I was. I was like. I was selling snacks like chips and stuff like that. You was this making nigga bank like hustle. That? I wasn't making bank. That was like all the money I hot had. Hot Cheetos. That was ninety percent of my bank account was was paying for that oh. Valentine's Day. And hey, girls get, don't understand that, bro. Niggas will spend a lot of money. A lot. A lot and you can't money. even enjoy the meal. You're just thinking about your bank account the whole time. Bro, you, that's exactly facts. what you're thinking about. Man, you be once once you you're get your food, you like the, the bill gonna come soon. Like yeah. you know, reality's about to hit. But I ain't that back in the day when like the you didn't have the shit on your app and you had to like start counting that shit in your head. I like, was, yeah, I was doing math equation. I can't even. I skipped school. I was. Oh, yeah, I don't even know how to do math, and I'm trying yeah, to do it in my head. I had thirty six dollars. I got ice cream six seventy two. I, um, I got gas five dollars. Yep. Okay. How you talking mean? about something? You're like, yeah, yeah. yeah I got thirty six. Like, like, shut 13. the fuck up! I'm trying to carry the two over. What the <laughs> yeah. fuck is wrong with you right now, yo? Thirteen seventy two. So the million has to be at least ten dollars for cushioning because I don't know if anything came out unexpectedly. Mm. Yeah, auto that's another thing too. The overdraft. <laughs> Niggas, they'll take shit off and hit you the overdraft fee. I'm like, overdraft is the craziest concept. You craziest. don't have money, so we're going to take more money. money from you. And that's a crazy concept. It. They, yeah, they'll they'll just just back. Back. I think it's better than getting declined on Valentine's Day with your girl and you're all dressed up and your car gets declined. What you got to do? I ra- overdraft I, $150. Honestly, I'd yeah. rather get overdrafted. No, I'd rather get declined. If I wanted to go over a limit, then just use credit. But if you use debit, then these. I had no credit card at high school. How many high schools have credit cards? No, they rely on that. Have one hundred eighty-five dollars. I mean, yeah. what are we saying right now? 
If you get declined, you really tell if she like you or not. You have one hundred eighty five dollars. Hey, I, I've been doing this thing where I get declined on dates uh-huh. uh, out of pure enjoyment, just to just to see like what the reaction would be. Like, my bad, let me get my other other car. And I'll look to see what her reaction is, just to see. How it's, is that? That's a turn off for her. They just see how they she's go ahead. stupid as fuck. If that's a turn on. No, she, she's oblivious. I'm having fun. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, mm, another card. Another card. Oh, yeah, yeah, another, yeah, try this he has card. Another like, card. Yeah, like, this one don't even work. It's zero fake. balance. It was, even though that mm. first had zero balance, the other one. Mm. <laughs> yeah, she she got turned on because that's wild. <laughs> um. All right. And um. Overdraft fees. What is your What is your ideal? Even though this is gonna come out after Valentine's Day, who gives a who cares? Like, what, what is your ideal Valentine's Day? Like, what you be doing? Being back with my girl. That's the perfect Valentine's Day. You simp ass nigga. <laughs> you a simp over? Her? Nah, a little bit. Oh nah, sake. fuck that. Cold hearted. I don't give a fuck. Fuck Valentine's Day. You about to text her after this? You know uh-uh. you're not even saying that. You're not even saying that confidently. I'm about to call her right after this. Yeah, you're okay, not even man. saying that shit. Confidently. I'll be there for you. I'll get you a cold glass of water. Why are you about to cry? Don't care. Why are you about to cry? Yo, who's crying? Fuck out of here. Whoa, your voice is cracked. Who cracked? Cold hearted. All right. Yeah. Thank I you. I don't podcast. know if your eyes gleam like that. Or are you legit about to cry? Are you staring deep into my soul right it's now? It's weird. Like the light is reflecting. I don't know about like that you. One. <laughs> like I'm looking at agent's eyes. eyes. Or not. <laughs> you see the twinkle in his eye low. I know I see the water bulging up on his uh, fucking tear ducts, nigga. Okay. He's getting red again, though. Yo, who's Uh-oh. red? Who's red? You. Yo, <laughs> Sneeko. Like it's sneaking down to your chin. Like dog, it's going to be good, to dog. Red. Yo, dog, it's going to be good. You gonna be I'm good. just red. I'm, I'm so excited for Valentine's Day because I'm going to have a great time. I got a, a date lined up and everything. I'm ready to go. Oh, mm. man. Come on. This nigga <laughs> said that. Hey, don't, don't use this platform to get back at your ex, yo, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that, nigga. <laughs> don't, do, don't, don't use this platform. I got a girl ready for me. You know, I got the hotel booked and everything. Oh, this oh. nigga said you're a demon. Oh. This nigga's a demon, yo. Uh, okay. Yeah, all right. Cold hearted, you know what I'm saying? So that being said, yo, uh oh, you got anything you got anything planned? Yeah, his eyes are tearing. Yeah, you are tearing, okay. What do you mean? You were tearing, okay. I just rebounded from yours and now we go back into it. Yo, Adrian, what about you? Let's talk about something yeah, else. Yeah, what are you what are you what are you doing on Valentine's yeah, Day? What are you doing on Valentine's yeah, Day? Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you. you letting Perry that? What are you I don't doing? think I'm doing shit, bro. I'm just gonna be chilling. I wanna say cause he's gonna come after Valentine's Day. So actually, yeah, I guess you can't technically speak and ask me because he's gonna come after Valentine's Day. So what you doing? You I'm, just, I'm just gonna be chilling personally. Yeah, so what are you doing? That's kinda lame. What you doing, John? I said, what are you doing, Lo? I'm probably the only person who have actual plans, so I want to say my last. What are you doing? I don't have any plans. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, um, Private Chef, I have, a, um, I have a poem I wrote for her. I'm putting on a bookmark. And you can, like, create your own custom books. And I'm going to have, like, our love story in the book. You wrote it? Uh, I wrote it, but, like, the publishing company makes the book. God damn! Yeah. What the fuck? She does. Holy she does books. She does books for um, a living. You got a private chef. She published a private a chef book. and a private Made book. A book. Yeah. God. So food in a book. In a in a poem. Yeah. And what's she gonna give you? Some pussy. I don't. Probably. I, what do you think? You said no, no, you saw no. The ass. Yeah, I, so I saw it. So what do you think? We can see if your prediction comes true. Okay. Yeah, true. 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 So I I know for a fact she's gonna give me um another record. Uh, I collect Kanye um, vinyls. Oh yeah, and I'm missing one. Which one? Um, uh, graduation. So I, I'm pretty sure she's gonna give me that because I have all the other ones. Um, I believe she's gonna get me the new fives, which would be tough. The new Jordan fives. The new Jordan five. That's gonna be. That's oh. gonna be tough. Okay. What are you about to say? I don't know, bro. What's the point of fucking giving gifts, man? I just get me the shit I want. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. But it's the it's, You don't have to put the effort in Yeah You know No 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 it's Gifts are more effort It's a convenience Gifts are more effort For the other person But not for you Not if you know them If you know the person The gift giver is not that hard If you know what they want But if you don't know them You're like damn What do I get this person uh, well, Cause you listen And pay attention to their life Maybe it's just cause I feel want. like I have everything I want So I don't really need You know what I'm saying So it's like Then I gotta think Like man What's some shit That'd be creative I can give you And I have PTSD From bad gift giving experiences In the past man What happened it's, it's a long, some long, so there's no cap. Mm. But it's just, Sometimes it's just gifts man. that miss, man. I wish I did have plans. If I wish I did. <laughs> this nigga right here. Put the camera on him. Sign. You got two more huh. days. You can find something. Nah, don't Start do nothing. Man. Don't do nothing last minute. I do have four days. Don't do nothing last minute. 
Why not? That's horrible. That's horrible. the worst thing. Just, you you might find the money. love of your life. You know, probably you put it won't. that for now. Probably won't. No, no. He's talking about someone you already know. Oh, might did, might did get the client. Yeah, if you don't, you talking about someone you already know. Don't do something last minute. If you already, no, you can know find them. someone new. You can if you find someone new, maybe. But if you find if you someone you already know and they already have expectations of you because they know you and you try to do nah, something nah. last minute, you're not gonna live to the expectations. So no. Who knows? You might meet somebody before Sunday. Damn, we might have to cut. Hey, at Valentino, you might find the love of your life. I'm damn sure you find the love of my life there. Let's you wrap might, it up so we can go. Might, there, Let's wrap it up. No, I hope not. You might, bro. It depends. You going with us, right? Fuck it. Hey, all right, let's go. go. Let's wrap it up. Hey, hey, hey. shots off. I thought we was all getting hyped. Nobody else got hyped. Wait, do it I again. can get hyped. Do it again. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, 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 Cold hearted. Yes, sir. Me. Look at Sneeko, man. He don't give a fuck. Emotionless. What yeah. about you? What about you? What about sir. you, AJ? Any last words? Uh, I'm excited to get some sex toys, man. Let's do it. Dick face. Uh, John, what about you? I'm trying to find me a realistic blow up dog like Halle Berry. Yeah. Can I put it on Layaway? I got to just like, just, do they got Layaway? I hope, Nate. Oh, they might. Put it on Layaway. I, I want a custom one. I want to get like a mix. Like an India love. All right, man. Okay. Get, a, get, a, get, a, get, a, get a mix. <laughs> if India love watching this, clip it and send it to it. Oh, you know okay. I'm my clips in there. Uh, yo, yeah. shout out to all my podcast people out there rocking with the strong on audio platforms Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. I want to make bag. sure you rate us a five star. Once you get done rating us a five star, make sure underneath it you write um, sex dolls, I guess. I sex want dolls. India love. Bad. Hold on, she didn't see my face. I want you. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> hey, put okay. it on me. Put it on me. Put it on me. All right. I want Rihanna. Very badly. Bad. Okay. Who you, Lo, where you at? I Just my girlfriend. That's what I want. You're not going to say it like you want to be like, say it. Say who you want. Oh, she knows that though, Rich. Say, say, say it, man. Go ahead, oh, say it. Uh, say who you want. Yeah. Say it, man. Say who you want. Shut on. Wait, wait. You're right. <laughs> Sneak <laughs> up. I want my girl. Bad Yeah you know what I'm Sneak over where you at Look dead head I Dead head right there With a sock head. Head. Come a little closer I want myself I don't need a bitch Okay you're just You didn't say bad at the Why you fucked up the flow Sneak up the flow Sneak But you know what All you need is yourself man You don't need nobody else This nigga's about to cry I don't know why we're dabbing You know It seems like he really hard I don't need nobody else uh, hey, yo, finally, <laughs> yeah, this nigga right here. yo, finally, shout out to all my YouTube people rocking with a strong 107,000 subscribers. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring the um plaque. Damn, tough. Damn, we'll do the next podcast. So, thank y'all for all the support, man. Make all sure you it. hit the subscribe button, all of leave it. a comment, like it, all that good jazz. And when you get done with all that, hit the notification bell so you can join the Naughty Gang, 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 Gang. Hey. Hey. Yeah, we'll, we'll see y'all we'll next see time. Next time. We'll see y'all next time. Word of mouth we'll too. India Love will be with me. Oh yeah, word of mouth. Shout out to my word of mouth people. Ah, that was. Now you just doubled the audio. <laughs> that was. You just hey, you get, the audio. you get a little freaky in the dungeon. I, yeah. I see. <laughs> you just double stick the mic. Uh, <laughs> 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 Cut that out, Caleb. <laughs>